Happy New Year, everybody. Thanks for being here. Good to see you all. Thanks for thanks for coming. Happy freaking New Year. I hope you all had a beautiful New Year's Eve and a wonderful New Year's Day. Bulky New Year. Yeah. Hey, Tuna New. Bulky New Year. Uh, hi. I'm still in Florida. Uh, most of you knew that. Um, I'm going to just do a little short one here. Uh, it's because I miss you guys. Just a little like... It's going too long without streaming. I get, get, get I'm like uh, I'm like uh, you know addicted to this man. Like I, I I get antsy when I'm not streaming. I it feels wrong. I it's what I do and when I'm not doing it I don't feel right, you know. He loves us. Let's not go crazy. No. On ironically, yeah, I missed you guys. Yeah. Did you and Tuna get Mark Towers? No, no, I we couldn't find anywhere with uh with the Mark Tower. Um Ag is still on the stream. Yeah, but I mean shouldn't it be? <laughs> shouldn't it shouldn't it be? Shouldn't it shouldn't it be on the screen? I feel like it should be. Did you uh, bring a black light flashlight detector? I don't have to like it's the stains are visible to the naked eye like they're so blatant and just in your face it's not even you don't need to use a black light like they're just there i showed chat the other day there's some on the floor too like i'm serious um hey ellie thanks for sharing the sloth and lemur video yeah i i, I got a couple more i was gonna show you guys that was pretty much what the, what the stream was supposed to be. You sound happier today. That's because I'm playing Gollum on the other monitor right now. Whenever I play Gollum, I'm happier. You know, so that's that explains that, right? Um, I, I have to play Gollum. Remember, I have to do like an hour of Gollum. An hour of Gollum. And an hour of uh, what's like fat baby, right? Maybe I'll do that today. I, somebody sent me keys for a game called Psychiatrist Simulator 2. Have any of you played? It looks real interesting. Yeah, I was going to maybe look at that for a little bit. I'm just going for a couple of, you know, this is going to be short. Again, just because, yes, I miss you guys. Okay, you want to make me say it? You want me to say it? I'll say it. You want me to freaking say it? I'll say it. I miss you guys. Um,. We did hit 6k. I don't even know how to check that. Because again, everything has been so scuffed lately that I don't even know. There's, there's a there's a there's a browser source for it somewhere. I, I I would have to log into something, and I'm not. I don't know. But as always, if you have supported the channel, if you bought subs, if you gifted subs, if you resubbed any anything bits, whatever. Thank you so much, guys. Um. Paused up vibes. Yeah, we're going to have some paused up vibes. Because <laughs> uh, I, I need some positive vibes, guys. I'll be real with you. I, I've been... um, I've been feeling uh, real not good since what happened. Or rather, what didn't happen. Uh, the scuff thing. Like, the, the way that those streams went has, has me real feeling really angry and... and uh, and frustrated and, and not good. So I just want to, um, I feel like I had to keep myself busy here a little bit and, and do something uh, like this. Yeah, it's good. I'm not, yeah, I, I'm really upset about the way that that went. I'm working. I'm trying to move past it. I got some things set lined up uh, for when I get back home, which is going to be, uh, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, you'll see. Uh, nothing probably as fun as what you were going to see, uh, on Friday and Saturday, but it'll be, it'll be, you know, it'll be content. I blame Garbo always. It's funny because 
Elgato had absolutely nothing to do with any element of what happened, but just, you know, F them anyway. Mike has been inside of this hotel room drinking for the past three days. That's not true, but that's not that far from the truth. All right, let me put it to you that way. All right. I blame Florida. I'll, I'll be real with you guys. I... I think I officially hate this place. I I think I'm on that that pitch. I I I I didn't. I I didn't. I for a long time I didn't. I was like, no, it seems cool. It's an interesting place. It, it it's probably really. I mean, if you really think about it, it's one of the most fascinating states in in, in the U.S. Like, it's a very compelling place. Like, it's history and it's you know. What goes on here and the, the wildlife and the, 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 you know, just the environment, the everything, everything about it. It's, it's, it's a very interesting place. Um, but I ultimately, I must, I must, uh, what's the opposite of standing something? Like we have to stand. I ultimately, um, I do hate Florida. I, I think I'm officially there. I, I hate Florida. Yeah. Um. Did you, you know what it, you know when a place just it disappoints you too too many times Th this place has disappointed me way too many times for me to like like Florida does not get any more chances from me to to like you know to impress me like I hate it yeah it's, it's rancid like it sucks everything about it sucks Florida be like it's it's just a very consistently disappointing place. Again, like even the weather is bad. Like you know, the things that they tell you about Florida, that the good things about it aren't even true. I'm loving all the the, the Florida chatters who are like best. <laughs> Imagine growing up there, and it feels weird and liminal sometimes. Like not even in a good way. Like again, I know people that live here. Part of the reason I'm here. And I'm I'm going through like those residential communities that are just like I don't know, man. Like I, they're just weird. Those are depressing. They're not good. Uh, is it walkable? It is aggressively not walkable. Like it's it's so stupid how not walkable it, it, it like it oh my god it's it's really like he, again where I'm from isn't really walkable but it makes it seem like it is you know like it I hate Florida yeah I I have to. Uh, I have to say, I hate Florida. Florida is the least walkable state. Everything is miles and miles apart. That's the thing, right? Like, everything is so far away from each other. There's no sidewalks. It, it, I really do. I, I really think that's the truth. I think that I really do believe that this has to be, like, the least walkable place in the U.S. It's worse in Maine. Yeah, well, is there a chance you get mauled by an alligator in Maine? Tampa is walkable. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. You know what I realized, too? Everything that they say about Florida and everything that people, like, believe about Florida, where I'm from, because don't I've, I've explained this to you guys before, right? In, in New York, there's a, a brain rot about Florida. Like, everybody in, in New York is obsessed with Florida and talks about Florida and thinks about Florida like it's utopia and you want to know what i actually figured out all right, all right here's my opinion my take everything that they say and believe about florida is actually true about las vegas it's like southern nevada like yeah, fell for the Florida meme. 
Dude, the weather here is dog shit. It's like, oh, it's warm. It's not. I've been freezing my balls off the entire time I'm here. It's like that's the, the one redeeming thing that's suppo supposed to be about Florida. Like the one redeeming quality that Florida is supposed to have is that the weather is nice. blows it blows and every day has been like a bigger disappointment than the last one it's not there's things i don't even want to like get into but but it's like it's just the the disappointment goes so deep with this place it's not even funny it's just you're in saint augustine not anymore but I want to tell you where I am. It's weird. Um, trying to keep it uh, obscure, you know. Uh, I'm I'm supposed to be. I'm planning. Okay, I'm planning to for my next stream to be Friday at home. At least you got to see that family member. Yeah, well, that's what it was, right? Like, I was planning this trip to come see a few family members that moved down here. Um, You know, years ago. And it was like, oh, well, you know, you got to go come see us and all this shit. Uh, you got to come. And, I, and I'd been, like, putting it off and putting it off and putting it off because I'm busy, as you guys know. Okay. Like put a hidden aga up here. Oh, that's really hard to say. Um. So I finally go. I finally get down here, and it sucks. You know, I mean, I, I I'm, I'm sorry. I got distracted by the aga. I finally planned the trip to come here to, you know, get this obligation off my fucking plate. And I said, well, I knew I knew there was some cool shit in the general vicinity of where they they live. So I said, what if I multitask this? Like, what if I make it a, sh a thing where I can go look at some of that cool shit? I was like, alright, so St. Augustine is drivable from there. So what if I try to set up some streams in St. Augustine? Because I know that St. Augustine has some awesome stuff going on there. So I started planning it. It's been good. Again, I planned it for, for months. and So I was like, oh, I'm going to go see my family and then I'm going to do cool, cool streams. Um, And, it, you, and then the rest is, you know. The rest is history. You said you saw the rest, you, and then and then you know what happened, and it was it was more of this, you know, more disappointment. You know. So, did you go on the boat? Well, the my relative's friend had a boat, and it was this thing. I was like, "Well, we're gonna go out on his boat. We're gonna go out on his boat. We're gonna go out on his boat." Right. And every day, every day, we had to cancel it because the weather sucks cock. So I'm going to come home without having gone on this boat. You see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm fucking saying? Do they regret moving here? Oh, no, they love it here. It's awesome here. Uh, Mike, you should jizz in the sheets and then roll around in them like an alligator. Where did that comment go? The chat moved and I can't find it. Where, where did they... <laughs> Who said that? Some real hedgehog vibes, yeah. Jizz in the hotel sheets and alligator roll in it to make yourself feel better. <laughs> My own, my own jizz. A death roll, yeah, yeah. <sighs> <clears throat> 
Anyone else see the dead hooker? That's your mom and she's not dead. She's just napping. <laughs> Everyone else did it. Must be okay. So, I figured we could look at, um, like, the, the Buru. But fun fact, um, I can't find the link to it, and I googled Jabroni Mike Buru, and it doesn't it doesn't exist. So, uh, I don't know how to actually, like, look at the Buru. Uh, I also want to draw attention to, if anybody's in our Discord server, which you should be in our Discord server. Um, uh, Bittersweet Devil, would you DM that to me on Discord, please? Uh, if you're in our Discord server... Check out our, our announcement channel. Uh, you laugh, you lose, submissions are open again. I want to do one on Friday. So... Get your uh, get your videos in there. Uh, please make sure you follow the rules that they posted. Uh, so there's no confusion or inadvertent rule breaking. Because there was some confusion last time. Because pa apparently it looks like some of you can't read. Um, and it resulted in some um, people be getting, you know, putting in... A, getting punished and not understanding why they were punished. Right? So, make sure you take a very close look at that. Guys, okay. You shit, you lost. You shit. Look at the magical aga appears. The aga appears, look. Yeah, your mom is sleeping back there. You see her? She sucks a mean cock. All right, let's see. Um, thank you so much, Bittersweet Devil. She sucks a mean one, boys. You better believe it. Uh, before we look at this crap, I gotta thank some people. Sorry, it's not crap. I know you guys work work hard on it. <laughs> on what you make. Um, I just got to thank a couple of people here. Uh, yeah. All right, here we go. June Kitty Cat, Nice Round TV, Venom Wraith, Peaceful Autistic, Rusty Chainsaw, Bass Reflux, uh, Dr. Piccolo, Poop Gooey, uh, uh, Nick Star, Nauru, Man Memories, Link 1129, Treksu, Rangai. And Nugget4270, thanks for the resub. Shifting Shade, thank you for that gift. Sub, Pawn Star Tracer with 61 months. Thanks, man. Um, poop Stained Whiskers uh, and Salted Caracal with the resubs. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Beans! Thank you for the gifts, Beans. Uh, John Michael with the bits. Sorry, not bits. They gifted subs. Yeah, Beans gifted five subs. Thank you, Beans. Uh, Dumpies, if you guys can. Thank you. Uh, Sewer Punk and Daenerys Targaryen. Thank you for those resubs. Sewer Punk is now a two-year. Two-year boy. Thank you. Um, CZZM. Which I read is like like Sism. Like it's like Jism, but with a C. Thanks for 20 months. Waffle PhD and Torgo Crankor with the resubs. Thanks, guys. Poop Buffet with the bits, Blazing Saddle Source, William Wallace, Saxima Fumpet, and Witch Doctor PhD. Thanks for the resub, Soul Berserker, Squish Loves JoJo's, Ross the Bossy, and Not a Dinosaur. Thanks for the resubs, guys. I wish that Aga was on the wall. If I just, yeah, just go completely like Keith Moon on this bitch. Like go real rock and roll, like hardcore old school rock and roll on this on this hotel room. And just, like, smear the aga on the wall, like, in my own shit. You know, like, would that be epic or what? Wait, should I do that? You want me to do that? The hidden aga. 
Michael, make your bed. It's not my bed. Pink Floyd, one of my turns. Yeah. It'll be called one of my turds. <laughs> and then we'll get Doug Walker to review it. What do you think? One of my turds. B Brown Floyd. <laughs> Brown Floyd, that's awesome. Oh. <clears throat> I'm gonna... <clears throat> I'm not gonna do that, guys. Don't worry. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna fry chicken in the sink. In the in the bathroom. All right. Ah. Uh, I got the Buru here. There's a lot of stuff on it, though. It's part of why I kind of wanted to to do this. Oh, am I wrong? Oh, dude, I I thought there was there was like a huge backlog, and there's totally not. That there is a backlog. That's not crazy. I thought it somehow thought it was gonna be like a lot more. <clears throat> Might take a liquidy diarrhea into a bucket, and then take a paintbrush and smear the shit into every crevice of the room, so they can never get the smell out. Q um. And Dolphin Rush from Splatoon 2. You know what? Why did I even... Hold on. I'll just... I'll just... This is... Let's get some of that. Oh, it's a commercial? Oh. Cool. This is what you hear as I smear shit into every crevice of this room with a huge paintbrush. Fuck you, Florida! Fuck you! Fuck you, Florida! Fuck you! Remember that one? Remember this bullshit? Remember this? This. This is, no, this is the one. This is the soundtrack to me smearing shit all over this hotel room. This one right here. This track was always, like, demented. Yeah. <sighs> Can we get a shit painter emote? I probably wouldn't try- wouldn't, wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't read well, I don't think. No? Um... Did we look at this? I feel like, I don't know if we've seen this, but I really like it. Um, hold on. Is it? Yeah. Um, it's from Cosmic Goat. Don't shut up about the taskbar, dude. Uh, and it looks like chat in a cum jar. <laughs> Did we see this? Did we see this one? No? What about uh, an inkling using a brush, but the ink is green screened to brown, and it's a GIF, right? I, I hate that that taskbar emoji actually shows up on Chatson, which is the chat app I use for this. Um, Cosmic Goat, I, what, what is the origin of this image, by the way? Like, who, like, what's this, who's this character?
It's Sonic? It's Bugs... No, it's Bugs Bunny. Yeah, like, what's the origin image? It's... Oh! It's a Bugs Bunny smear frame. Is what it is, right? Is that what it is? It's, it's like one of those... Like, like, Big Chungus? A weird racist cartoon. It's racist? Is this, is this like a chat says everything's racist moment? Like, is this... Sonic was the meme? No, it actually is Blackface Bugs Bunny. It's, it's, it's real this time? It's, it's... It's an old WB cartoon. It was Bugs Bunny in Blackface, and then it was redrawn as Sonic. Jesus. Why did they do that? You know what? Let's not... I, but anyway, I, Cosmic Goat, thanks for the, uh... Obviously, this is a meme reaction image that has become that. But yeah, thanks, uh... Thanks, Goat. You're the Goat. Um... Wow. Here, and here I was thinking that Warner Brothers was, like... You know, morally superior to Disney? Oh, I guess not. Wow. Guess all the animators from that era kind of sucked, huh? LeMayo? No. I don't know. Um, here's something, uh, gorgeous from Bye Bun. Bye Bun. A Jabroni Mike Christmas card. Been thinking of you, sweet tits. Have a jolly, creamy shit. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's actually rules. This is actually awesome. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, we'll use this next year, right? This is <laughs> awesome. It's actually pretty dope. Wow. Print them out, pass them around. Been thinking of you, sweet tits. I would never call somebody sweet tits. I maybe something. I don't know. I I don't know. I I don't think I would. It's pretty funny though. It's a funny. Yes, you would. I it sounds condescending. All right. Uh, this is from Jabroni Dog Boy, and it's cute. Oh, it says Hap. Got a uh, me and and Jizz Master, or I'm oh, sorry, Jazz Master, are enjoying our birthday together. Obviously, we have the the same birthday. It's pretty cute, uh, Dog Boy. Thank you for sharing it with us. Ah. Uh. You would call Mountain Dew sweet tits? I, yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, I guess I would. But uh, the art's great. Ah, uh, dog boy, thank you. Um, Here's one. Uh, it says Hillbilly in a Blimp submitted this. Uh, they said, uh, looks like this one has a little explanation. Uh, I drew this during Fred's PC building stream. We caught his flesh Sona with long hair and a beanie. Chat agreed. He had a J Muse look to him. He said uh, to J and Silent Bob, yeah. I figured Rev would make a good Silent Bob, and honestly, the chimp could be no one else. When did they have a chimp? I, why don't I remember this? Is it, was it Dogma? This, what you're referencing? Oh, uh, Jay and Silent Bob strike back. It was okay. What's Dogma? It's one of Kevin Smith's movies. Uh, it was in Mall Rats, too. <laughs> well, Mall Rats as well. Not because Mall Rats did have a sequel, actually. Um, but yeah, art looks great. Thanks, sub. Uh, uh, hillbilly. Very cute. It's cute. It's cute. Rev talks way too much to be Silent Bob, though. Uh, we got this from P. 
PP stained gamer jorts and it looks like it is a video. Oh, it is. All right, hold on. Let's uh let's do it up. It's the Hershey Kisses commercial. Uh-huh. Let's play it again. Really cool. Really nice. Thank you. It's uh, awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, booty hole bong grips. Yeah, can you, can you like, again, change your... Buru names, like, to make it so it's, like, matches what you're, you know, like, it's just, guys, people should have one name, if possible, across all things to stop Grandpa from getting confused. Thank you. Uh, how do I get Gluck Twerk to work? Gluck Twerk doesn't work for you? All right, from Primal Screen Guy. Capturing uh, another moment of frustration from uh, two weeks ago. I mean, guys, I the, the the ride never ends, huh? Man, uh, just ma there I am. Just make the fucking content. Five bamboozle beans, eating dog food, eating a raw onion, chugging milk, waxing my leg. There's bone. I don't know what to fucking do. <laughs> wow. That moment was hype. Yeah, I saw a lot of people saying it was like, you know, they were upset by it. And it just don't, you just don't recognize art for what it is. They were like, oh my God, he's having an actual mental breakdown. I mean, like, I was very upset. But I knew what I was doing. You know, I, was... I showed this clip to my friend. He was disgusted. Yeah. I, I was mildly concerned. You, you, you guys don't like... You don't like any media that challenges you. That's what I've noticed. You, you guys don't want to be like... You don't want to be slightly challenged by anything. Right? It's, it's on comfy. It was awesome. I'm going to be, I don't, I don't necessarily critique my own content. Okay. But I did see that clip and it was powerful and I'm very proud of that. That I'm was proud. Of, I'm proud of that moment. Okay. Mike, I've seen everything Roger Waters has, uh, jo John Waters has ever done. And it was less concerning than your breakdown. So, it's not like I, I eat dog food, not dog shit. I think after the bathtub stream, everyone should be aware you can act out this shit flawlessly. Yeah, I, again, I'm, I'm, um... Let me put it to you this way. I have a lot of streams planned for 2024 where... You, you need you need to like use common sense to tell um like I'm okay I'm do I'm doing a bit like you gotta just just keep that in mind okay as we go forward and I okay because there's gonna be a lot of moments where you're like is this real what is he doing y you know like just I'm I'm doing bits, okay? I'll just tell you right now. It was just, just it's, if you think I'm not okay, you know, you're probably you're probably wrong, okay? K fab off, okay. I'm putting the K fab back on right now, okay? Then and, and again, uh, screen guy, thanks for the uh, the art man. Um, what a f what an awesome moment to immortalize in. In art, right? Uh, here's something from Red Carnation. Looks like they made a YouTube video here. Uh, we got another...
another YouTube video for you guys from, yeah, Red Carnation. Let's check it out. We wish you a baby sheet mites. We wish you a baby sheet mites. We wish you a baby sheet mites. And a happy whole pick. Bring the We bring for you and your tummy. We wish you a very sheet mites and a happy whole pig. Merry sheet mites and a happy whole pig. Happy holidays, Jabroni Mike. Oh, you got Norosama to give me a happy. Oh. Oh, thank you. That's sweet. I can't believe. Oh, that. You know how hard that is to get that. To, that channel has really popped off the past couple weeks so like if you got it to pay attention to you that's crazy if, if you were actually able to get to get the ai to read your comment that's nuts it's chaos in there i've seen it it, it is insane the most popular vtuber no straight up there's again they're, they're getting five digit views over there it's wild Can we watch this again? They got a level 35 hype train. Yeah, it's and I, and and I I thought people didn't like AI shit. We wish you a very sheet mites. We wish you a very sheet mites. We wish you a very sheet mites. And a happy whole pick. AI is for shit posing. Well, I mean, yeah, that well, if you again Look at it that way. That's, I mean, that, that's what that is, right? You know? I want you to look that there's, there's feces inside the stomach, the stomachs. Five digit views on a stream hosted by a robot. The, the person who made it, um, is on the streams a lot now. So it's kind of, that's kind of not accurate from what I could tell. Like he does let it, like he does let it run and walks away from the computer. But he, he, uh, the, the dude who made it is on the, he's on the streams a lot. Their bibs where it says, I love shit. Oh, I thought it was like a cutaway to the stomach where there was shit. <laughs> There's shit in there. Mike, they now use AI in segs to make fake cum. Crying emoji. What's up, dog boy? Coomers will throw all previous morals out the window the second an anime girl who looks like a child is involved. All right. I want to move on from this topic because I think it's going to start creating argu an argument. Um, I think we have an argument coming in hot. So let's uh, let's let's stop talking about that. Let's then let's never bring that up again. Okay. This one was a stretch though. This layer for our fecal meal. I like this this chatoid. He took a shit on the. <laughs> and it's septic. That's some quality animation, though, dude. Clown pubes came in and said clown pubes, and somebody replied and said, that is the only correct take. <laughs> Good comies we bring. This is, you. The, the, my, my favorite part is probably the Pepino, like, jizz makeout. <laughs> and your tummy, we wish you a very shit mite and a happy whole pig. Merry sheet mites and a happy whole pick. <laughs> happy holidays, Jabroni Mike. Yeah, Norosama. Listen, I I appreciate. Uh, I I think I I do like what he's doing there. I think it's you know, it is fun to to mess with this thing, and it, he's he's very good at it, and he's he codes it, and he's consistent with the uh, you know the 
updates to it and everything. He works really hard on it. It's not like it's a hands-off type of a thing the way some of the other ones have felt. But, like, I, there's things about it that do kind of uh, concern me. But, like, I there's you know, what, you know what it is with this now? I don't think there's a really a way for me to criticize this without just coming off like I'm jealous of it. So I'm not going to. Does that make sense? Uh, he put a lot of work into her. He did. Yeah, he did. You know, for sure. Um, but this was, again, from Red Carnation. All right, thank you so much, uh, Red Carnation. Um, it's rightful to be jealous. Well, I, I, not really, because the guy, again, uh, has put a ton of work into it. It's not like he set it up and, like, walked away from it, you know. It's really complicated stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, it's it's one of those topics now that, uh, and I and I think this is going to get worse in twenty twenty four. I don't think it's going to get better, but but AI stuff is a topic that is just incendiary now. So I'm going to be like kind of trying to avoid it when I can, which sucks because it's an interesting topic. It's one of those things where it's like, oh shit, you know. Like, like, shocks. Like, I wish I could talk about that, but certain, certain, um, certain people just kind of can't have civil conversations on the internet, so it's not a thing we can really, we can really do, unfortunately, but. Um, just want to, like, show the, the, the art here. Hold on. Oh, does that not work? Does the, oh, does that not, does that not work? Huh. Right. Okay. Huh. How bizarre. Okay, um... Huh. Uh, did the browser crash? Alright, it looks like my browser crashed? Or the browser tab crashed? Really, uh, really annoying? Yeah, that is what happened. I wanted to show you guys the, uh, like, th thumbnail. Play Suck Up. I seen Suck Up. It's kind of on my radar at the moment. That's not on Steam. I tried looking for it on Steam. It's not on Steam, is it? Kiss Midoriko? Yes or no? Yes. Is that one of the trouble busters? Unfortunately, it is. Mike, can you stream another 40 minutes? I'm gonna go another couple hours. So, you know what I mean? Suck up is incredible. It's incredible? Okay, can I ask you a question? Is it, what kind of game is it? Is it, It's a story game, right? You play as a Dracula? Uh-huh. And, and, and how long is the game? Oh, God. It's an AI thing? Oh, wait. It's... Oh, oh, oh. somebody said it's like... Vaudeville, but it... But, but good. Yeah, really? Didn't we just discuss this? No. It's like the shitty Saxabar game, but quality. Yeah, because that guy is... That game was... That was unplayable, guys. Okay, I have to ask you guys a question. Where do I get this game from? Because it is not on Steam. It gave us a few memes. It did, it did. I mean, I listen, I had a lot of fun that night. Pirate. Okay, let me see. Suck up game. Hilarious vampire adventure game. Buy now. I gotta get my credit card for this shit?
It has a launcher. Do I do this now or do I do this when I get home? When do I when do I do this? I, mean, I could do it right now. I got like I got like another three hours to stream. It didn't look that intensive. Yeah, alright, hold on. Purchase disclaimer. Can I have like A license key so I can install it on my computer at home. Enter your access, uh, li your license key in game to register for an account. Your license key is provided at checkout. So I can use that at home? Mike, with the camera in this position, it looks like I'm a suck your dick. It's getting kind of crowded under this desk, though, with your mom down there and everything. I don't know if we have enough room. Probably that'd be weird. For you, don't you think? I just realized it's my first stream of 2024. I thought she was in bed. No, that was your mom. Their mom is under the desk. This stream is giving Zoom meeting. I'm going to be giving you the back of my fucking hand if you ever say that shit in here again. Okay? The worst stream of 2024, yeah. Yeah. Suck up game. Okay. I have to fill out all this stuff. I have to put my credit card in. This is so cringe. Alright, I'm gonna get my credit card. I'm gonna get all this, put this in. I'm gonna do this. Ag. Oh, yeah, it's egg time. Oh, yeah, it's egg time. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, time to do the egg. Do, 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 do. Okay, putting in my credit card number. All I have to do is like fat finger the wrong button, and OBS will change the scene and show you my credit card info. It'd be so good if that happened. Wouldn't that be really funny and on brand if that happened right now? Wouldn't that be set to like, dude, encaps encapsulate like the entire this entire season of Jabroni Mike? If that happened, like, would that not completely do that, dude? Wacky digits on the back. Got to put in them wacky digits. The wacky digits. Yep. Got them. Them wacky digits. Why do you need this other crap, though? Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. Let's do it. Enter a valid credit card number. Oh, this shit doesn't like my credit card number. Oh, because I forgot some numbers. Okay. Guys, stop trying to look at my credit card info. Guys, that's very cringe, please. 
Ah, good time. Okay. Download. Okay. License key. Okay. I'm gonna just... You know what? I'm gonna take a picture of this with my phone. So, I have the license key. Right. Cool. Alright. Sick, sick, sick. That's what I would do. Yeah. Yeah, it works. Mike, how are we staying positive for the new year? Just got to keep that paused up uh, attitude. Just got to keep that paused up perspective, bro. You know? All right, so it's like 25% downloaded. Um, I guess we'll, we'll let it finish, I guess. Uh, downloading. And while we are doing that, we can keep looking at our media. We can keep sharing our, our media. Uh, some of you guys remember this this moment from the the semen streams. Um, the semen the semen streams. What? The subathon streams. Oh, by yeah. Am I am I gonna do the? Are we doing the semen dunk tank or what? Semen streaming. Are we doing the semen streaming? Is the spunk tank going to happen? Did you guys get to, t to 10k? Give subs? Did you guys get there? Are we? I don't know. Are you? To be fair, you guys actually got fucked out of two additional opportunities to to get this, the spunk tank. You did. You you actually you actually got fucked out of. You hinted at a lower number. Yeah, but when would people have even have gifted subs? Yeah. So so many cool little uh, details about what happened uh, last week, right? Um. Pity sub. I, there might have been some pity subs during those streams. I'll take. We take. We take those. Right. We we take pity subs. We take them. Can people gift subs when the stream isn't live? I I think so. Yeah. I told you guys you had till the end of New Year. Like I told you guys you had that, but I mean, when would you have? Well, well, here, here's what it is. Um, microscopic. Who would do that? Like, who's gonna say? Very, very few people are gonna are gonna do that. Are, are gonna go and sub to uh, a Twitch channel that's not live. Like, nobody's really gonna do that. And again, what I wanted to do there was I wanted to like you know encourage you guys to take advantage of the fact that the subs were twenty five percent off. I don't know if they still are. Let me. You know what? If they are, I'll let. I'll let this stream can count. Microsoft, stop. Windows, Windows. Yo, just show me my mail, dude. Oh my god. Do you have to be fucking kidding me? I can't access my email because of Windows. You respect my privacy? Do you respect anything about me? Dude. If you respected me at all, you wouldn't do what you just did to me. Get the fuck out of my face. Get out! Get out of my face. Oh, fun fact. Today is, it looks like today is the last day that the subs are going to be 25% off. Gift subs, 25% off single month gifting discount will run from December 27th to January 2nd. So I actually think today is the, la is the last day.
It looks like they're not discounted. It ended about an hour ago. It ended at 10 a.m. Pacific. It is done. Jabroni Michael takes another fat cock in the ass. What a surprise. See, I'm sensing a theme for 2024. Are you guys seeing that theme? Like, there's definitely a theme here, right? There's... Does that make us Gendo? Yeah. Mike, tech, the Florida streams were last year. Oh. That's true. That's true. That's true. Not even two days in and he's already dooming. All right, shut the fuck up. The guy says positive vibes. Stream says positive vibes. Right? That's what it says, guys. All right. Um, it says, Mitchell. Perstitut. Mitch Mitchell. And there's a cat mic. Right? And there's a YouTube link. Okay, my pants are coming off. Do you hear me? I got nothing else to live for. I see you crawling around on the floor, eating cat food, meowing for money. Yeah. That's the trashy uh, bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, I'm a prostitute. Really? He thought that was funny, huh? Trashy didn't seem like he found it funny, to be honest, which I didn't understand because I thought it was at least a plus one. People, I love disappointing people. It's true. I'm going to disappoint you. You're expecting me to fail. And I'm gonna disappoint that expectation will be dis- God, okay, it doesn't make any fucking sense. It doesn't matter, okay? Doesn't matter. I'm a prostitute. I'm a prostitute. Yeah, I'm, I'm a- I'm a prostitute. <laughs> you get it? No, man, no! That's not funny at all! You need money, you get a fucking job. This? Yum, yum, meow mix. This is sad. Is it Zoomer music? I don't know, but it had a lot of auto-tune. Florida streams were a great disappointment. Oh, yeah. I, I, I definitely delivered on that uh, here in Florida for sure. They said, Michael, I made this on a whim. I hope you it. Did you mean like it? Did you did you mean you forgot a word? It's okay. I you know what? I did it. I did it. In fact, I did in fact it. Thank you so much for that. Woo! Okay. Uh let's check out this. It's um from Zephros86. <laughs> it appears to be a movie poster. And it says, Chat toids are a disease. Meet the cure. Jabroni cum man. The strong cock of the law. And you can see there's, there's a fucked pumpkin. Uh, there's a, a septic. A cock cat. There's a chat toid here. There's a... There's a Glock hamster and Link back there. Yeah. Chad is saying Cobra, which is leading me to believe that this is referencing something, right? Uh, I don't know what it is, but... It's really good. Looks really good. It's referencing you. Is is it? 
It looks like it's based on something else. Like it's, you know. It reads like a Mad Lib. The strong cock of the law. Because cause it is. A Mad Lib. Um. Again, they're from Zephros86. And, uh. It's, uh, the movie is, is Cobra. It's a Sylvester Stallone film. Okay. There you have it. I was right. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Are we having another browser crash? Oh man, this browser's having a hard time. Wow. Got something here I want to... Some media I'd like to share with you guys from Elidideg. And uh, it is this. A uh, little cat boy mic with the ears. The ears are kind of faded there, right? Uh, pretty cute. They opted not to draw all the tattoos, right? They they decided not to draw all the, uh, the temporary tattoos. We got raided? Oh, thank you. Who raided? Hold on a second. Masquerade VT. Thank you so much for the raid, man. Thank you. Uh, also got to thank... A few folks uh, for their financial support as well. QZEC, BlazeX, Clown Pubes, Marigold Monarch, Hesher, Luke EJ. Thanks for the resubs, guys. Also, Va Vowel Movement, Jack Lantern, and Fred Durst's Third Thirst. Thanks for the gift subs. <laughs> Gifting subs. Let's get some dumpies in here. Their name is Fred Durst's Turd Thirst. Okay. Fred Durst. Apostrophe S. Okay, like the ownership. Fred Durst has it has a thirst for turds. Now that that is the try saying that five times fast. Oh, I can't. No shot. Love it, though. Thank you so much. Love that. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that, that's an S-tier uh, Twitch name, dude. Um, let me just take a peek at that download. See how that's going real quick. Let me take a look at that. Oh, is the game... Is the download finished? It appears that it is finished. Okay, hold on a second, guys. Whoop. I guess it's installing the launcher. But it's installing the launcher on the wrong monitor. Don't you love when that shit happens? It's in Like the installing launcher thing is on the wrong monitor. Oh, Fred Durst is in chat. He said, they made me change my name from Splooge McCook. <laughs> Splooge McCook. <laughs> uh, you, you were, I remember you, Splooge McCook. You had, that was very, I, really? They made you change that? Splo Why? Because, because Splooge? Because I guess, <laughs> I guess Splooge was like no good. They didn't want Splooge. Splooge McCook. It's so good. Too <laughs> based for Twitch. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, was it the splooge part or the or the cock part? The dude hated Florida and still bought Florida merch. No, well, it was cold. Cause I brought Florida clothes. 
But then when I was there, uh, when I was in St. Augustine, right? When I was in St. Augustine that night, that night, the night after the Gator fiasco, um, it uh, was really fucking cold. I was freezing my tits completely off, so I had to buy something to. Yeah, I actually had to. <laughs> fucking bullshit bullshit state such a bullshit state okay St. Augustine is is very cool like it is undeniably an awesome place I wish you could have seen it the way I did it is a really cool it's a really cool place like say you know what I mean like whatever problems it has Okay, it is a cool place. It's hard to pretend that it's not a cool place. It is a cool place. But Florida in general still blows. It blows. Okay. Florida is the anti-California. Yeah, it's actually pretty dope. It's actually pretty dope. And now the game is launching? Hold on. Get game. It's telling me get the game. I own the game. Oh, okay. It's downloading it. Okay. Um, let's take a look at this real quick, guys. It's from Rye. You know, like like the bread. And it's um, kind of actually pretty dope. Uh, searching for who asked a larger version in the source. I like how much grass I'm touching in this image. All right. It's actually pretty dope. Um, nice peaceful, positive vibes here going into 2024. Uh, Rye, thank you so much. Uh, it's actually um, pretty dope. No, I'll stop. I'll stop genuinely nice yeah let's say let's put it that way genuinely nice um thank you so much uh we got this it's from uh starry feathers it's it's torture museum art which rules mm, bath bomb there i am eating some some lush product some delicious lush product um there's limes hanging on for dear life uh, Starry Feathers, thank you so much if you're hearing this. Uh, really cool art. Um, how long will you be stuck in Florida? Hopefully not much longer. Did Mike play Steamboat Willie on stream yet? I was gonna, and then I saw on, on Twitter that Vinny got DMCA'd for it, which is amazing. And honestly, extremely unsurprising like actually a hundred percent the least surprising thing I've ever seen like what a completely predictable outcome you know uh Again, Starry Feathers, thank you so much. Here's one from Varg XD. Uh, and it's a uh, really horny Midorico, because of course it is. Um, in a wedding veil. And she's saying, I do. Okay, Varg. I, er, all right, dude. Like, not trying to be a hater here. But if you just proposed to her, why would she already be wearing... Oh, because I'm sorry. I got confused. No, that's, no, do you say, I do at the altar? I got confused. I thought it was like, that's what you say when somebody proposes to you. I don't know. Sh shut shut up. She doesn't look horny. Then why is she dripping with sweat? Oh, it's tears. It's tears. Okay. I thought it was, thought it was sexual. It's not sexual. Um, I For this artwork, I took some inspiration with a Finger Family VOD that you streamed before. Personally, I love drawing females, so I took action to draw this in my own style. I hope you enjoy. POV, Midoriko becomes your one and only wife. 
Uh, it's grotesque and deeply disturbing and indicative of the rot of society. So I love it, Varg. Thank you so much. Indicative of the rot. Alright. The rot of this stream. He loves... He doesn't just... They don't, they don't just love females. They love drawing females. Right? I hope Varg doesn't smush baby. Well, when, like, Midoriko got her uterus kicked? Remember when she got her uterus st stomped the fuck out? Remember that? It was awesome. Uh, Varg, thank you so much for this cool art, dude. Try to c contain your trouble buster lust, however. Uh, here's one from Panel Lemon. Actually, art from... Staten Island, the, the mall stream that went infinitely better than the streams here did, remarkably. And there's some, some Karen kicking me out of the mall and Lime saying, it's time to leave now. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, screen guy. Thank you, man. I got ejected from the mall by a Karen, basically. It turned out to be actually, like again, it was a test, but it was a solid stream, you know. Did they ever tell you what you did wrong? I was I guess the filming was making some was making someone uncomfortable. Which like I hate to tell you this, Boomer, but like the future I mean like as is now, cameras are everywhere. Like you better get used to getting recorded, lady. Like I don't know what to tell you. You were filming a jewelry store. Yeah. I imagine the casing of the jewelry raised the red flag. Yeah, but at the... Okay, okay. I, I understand what you're saying, but like from her perspective, okay? Like how stupid would I have to be? Or, granted, and she doesn't know how stupid I am. She doesn't know, you know, what... That like, That's fair. But what fucking robber, b burglar, is going to f go in and film all the f fucking jewelry? And f you know, like I feel like you're gonna do that. Like maybe, maybe you do it more subtly than that. Like, if I was going to rob that place, I definitely wouldn't have gone in there and f made sure they had a f video of my face. You know, like... She could smell chat from your phone and wanted us out of there. Mike, didn't you have a, a top cuck hat on? Yeah, but I don't... I, did you get the impression from that woman that she could read? She did mention the hat. She did. When she was describing me to security, she, she described my appearance, and she said I was wearing a red hat. She said, yeah. Real. That's real. That really happened. That all happened. That all had that happened, yeah, that happened. Why would I do that? Why would I go and I don't know, film the jewelry I'm gonna steal? Be the point of that? I don't know. Uh This was uploaded by somebody named Blue. Um, and it's very, uh, very artistic take, like very like impressionist. Is this impressionism? What is this? The light from the window highlights. The dried cum on Mike's glasses. Mike, maybe you thought she thought it was a MAGA hat and you were going to do something cringe. 
Oh, like, like, causing a scene in Target. To, for, like, social media clout, because I don't like the fucking bathing suits. I'll tell you what. On Staten Island, there was a 100% chance that that woman was MAGA. So, that's not what she thought. Okay. Just, just so you know. That most likely woman was... Probably would have enjoyed... Whatever. Um, I don't think she thought that is what I'm saying. Um, someone sucked me dry. Right, it's a deflated Sonic the Hedgehog plushie. Oh, was this at the mall? Yeah, this was at the mall. Right, right, right. And then you have Pikachu, and he's saying yum, and there's cum dribbling from his chin. <laughs> from his chin, yeah. Oh, that's great. Uh. Hi, Joaco. I don't like this lighting. You can't appreciate how red he is. Hey, Joaco. Um... Would you would you do me a favor? Would you send me a Discord message, dude? Could you can you do that for me, bud? Just send just send me a Discord. I want to talk to you about something. You're not in trouble. You're not in trouble. No, he's not in trouble. No, he's not in trouble. Um. Well. He's gonna be a mod? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna try to recruit him for some bullshit, but not that. Not that. No, not that. Not that. Not that. No. I don't think that's his skill set. We'll talk about it later, bud. If you, if you want. Um. I didn't finish my. Hey, turd, turd-based sapiens. I didn't finish my art for today. You can send it to me. Um. Or put it on the Buru for for Friday. My, someone said I'm. He's trying to recruit him to the homosexual lifestyle. No, it's not. It's not. It's not that, and it's not modding. You, I'll, I'll. We'll talk about it, Joaco. Um. That's pretty much the same thing. Recruit him like he's not already in it. All right. Someone sucked me dry, yum. And there's like a fat, cum-filled Pikachu over here. This is pretty good art, Blue. I actually, I really enjoy this, man. Um, thank you for, for sharing that media with us, but um, very fun, really fun stuff, fun stuff, right? Uh, yep, cum, yep, cum shows up loud and clear on Chatson. Holy shit. Um, somebody named Loaf uploaded these really, really cute. They look like sticker designs. Um, Jazz Mister. Including a Catboy Jazz Mister. Really cute. Uh, and there's more? It looks like. <laughs> uh, some, uh, Cosmic Bean Vomit here. And there, there's Jazz Mister uh, painting their nails, right? Oh, I love it, Loaf. Thank you. I don't know if we'll ever make these stickers, but if we do, if I do stickers, this uh, probably my first design choice. Love them. We need those stickers for the Discord. Oh yeah, we could totally put these in the Discord. Um. And we could remove the white border, right? Since it'll just it won't be a physical sticker. Oh no, we can't put them in the Discord because Wispbone said that we're full on stickers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Full up on stickers, guys. We're all full up. Uh. All right. Here's something from Sewer Sorceress. It says, Mike's Giantess. 
Uh, it says, uh, and she has like a like a womb tattoo that says Foreskin Warrior, and she's green and big. Mm -hmm. Why would she be green and big? Why is she green and big? Hello, Mega Five K. Lucy Ferrigno, dude. There's a guy in her hair. That's that looks like a Varg friend. Fard. Shid and Fard. Thank you for this pornographic material, Super Sorceress. I uh, really could use some stress relief right now, so really appreciate that. Uh, this is from Amari the Cat. Been really stressed out, so that'll help. Um, Amari do, uh, bringing us that cool... Uh, Take on me with the. Take on me, take on me with the uh, Venetian mask on the, on the side. It's really cool. He also seems like he's angry about something. Can't imagine why. Can't imagine what he could have to be angry about. This is a guy with no problems in life. What is he so upset about? What could he possibly be upset about? All right. Okay, so Princess Dank coming at us with a what they are calling a lumpy diss track. His son, lumpy. Uh, it says a lumpy diss track from the Star Wars Holiday Special, of course, Lumpy. His son. Fucking Lumpy. I hope Lumpy is burning in fucking hell right now. I really do. I, I hope Lumpy is is like you you know you know the, the hatred that people feel for Caillou. Like that that's the that's Lumpy. Like the Lumpy vibes. Like the hatred of Lumpy is fucking intense. Zoom in on the portrait of an average Wookiee family on Kishika, oh. Kashika, Kazoo, whatever, frankly, baby Lumpy's pissing off the older generations, and Mama Mala's cooking's gonna be a real sensation. It's oh, life day, fly, Daddy dude. Chewie's running late again, catching hand jobs from Han in the Millennium Bands. <laughs> Lumpy's creeping on the railing with one ambition, thinking to himself, this is a stealth mission. Grandpa yeah. Itchy's goon cave is set up in the living rooms, getting real close, about to make a Wookiee go boom, wow. catching all the ire and all of chat's score, no, looking kind a Swedish sunk in it to Outside on the balcony, nice. Lumpy starts to slip He's feeling desperately, just trying to get a grip He gets back up, dusts himself off, and heads inside Itchy catches him and tosses him through the window to die Defenestrate that bitch, defenestrate that bitch, defenestrate that bitch Yo Mike, what's the sick? Shudder, clam chowder, tumbling from high tower Hitting the pavement, pulverized into a fine powder Nathan's <laughs> called a two, we said they're out of gorilla Asked about selling Lumpy for a little extra skrilla <laughs> Defenestrate that bitch, defenestrate that bitch, defenestrate that bitch <laughs> Got the scratch for the itch Nathan's come through with the bag And a little bit of Zorno as a topper Diane popping off show stopper jaw dropper Mala wasn't feeling it at first but then Chewie looked it dead in the eye and he said With this was shacked up in reserve maybe You and I could just make a new baby Put Itchy in the home with his BR goggles Possibilities race in her mind boggles Put Itchy in the home <laughs> Our Lord and Savior Lumpy's been put on ice with Itchy reenacting the start of Antichrist. Mala slowly nods with a coquettish smile. Chewie's been blown. It <laughs> start with like a baby, <laughs> a baby dying. <laughs> what happened in the beginning of Antichrist? I barely remember. What happened? What was it? Uh, Han so long it's been a while. A baby falls out of a window. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As it did. The deep, a deep reference, dude. It's like a since this pair of sweaty Wookiees jacked up. To it's like a, uh, it's a back wall reference. What was that sound here? Why? Since this pair of sweaty. That's that's me. Is that not me? Blowing on so long it's been a while Since this pair of sweaty Wookiees jacked up together It's that time of year, keep warm and cold weather They move to the bedroom where memory 
memories fade of lumpy chud or baby boy his body decayed turned to hot dogs to be sold on tatooine by street vendors looking to make a little green big hot george lucas looks on an admiration at how far television brought his creation it's a certified banger of a life day celebration so come with j mike and celebrate the occasion Caked up with his twink makeup, carry straight suited, and Harrison is drunk. Then the stir whip, stir whip, 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 stir. We eat good tonight on this life day, yes, sir. <laughs> Remember that? That was worth the effort that I put into it. Holy shit. <laughs> he learned from watching Grandpa. You are lumpy baka. Yeah. Gone but never forgotten. You're gonna jizz buckets, bro. <laughs> Grandpa! Oh, that was great. Thank you so much. Uh, shit, wait, who was this again? Sorry. Princess Dank. Dank, thank you so much. That was indeed Dank. You delivered on the dankness, I would say, and then some. Awesome. Thank you so much, dude. Um, We also got this from... Again, booty hole bong rips. Uh, it says squand pug. Let's find out what's going on here. Squand pong, excuse me. I don't know what this is referencing. I feel like this is referencing something. I don't know what it is. Ultra kill? It's an ultra kill thing. Yeah, I obviously, I seen some people uh, streaming that. Is it I, what? What? What is it? A re-release or something, or a remake, or a remaster? Because that game existed for a while, right? It's a new game. Yeah, but wasn't there another game called Ultra Kill? It's, it's in early access. It was in early access. It. it so now it's been. Is it finished with early access or it just had like a really big update that got everybody interested in it again? Ah, uh, from screen guy, we got uh, me having some New Year's champagne with an alligator, alligator chewing on my head. Old Lang sign, right? Me and this gator. We go back. Love it, screen guy. Thank you. Um, is suck up still downloading? Suck up is um ready to launch, and we're also finished with the media share. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rock a piss, and I'll be back in a second, and we'll check out this suck up shit. Oh no, we'll be bored while he's gone. What do we do while he's while he's gone? What you're going to do is you're going to click the links my moderators are going to put in the chat. And you're going to subscribe to my YouTube channels. And you're going to join our Discord. The links are right there. We make it so easy. I'll see you in a second.
I'm back, Agoids. Agoids? I feel like the word ag is just really sums up everything, right? Like, just... I want to thank a few people here real quick. Uh, Sorev, Andres Terret, Bummer, and Mr. Plant. Thanks for the resubs. I'm Visser, Nutty Number 2, and T-Tune. Thanks for the resubs, guys. Yellow fluorescent shirt. <laughs> Thank you for the gift sub. Uh, yeah, thanks, guys. I think we're, all, we're caught up. Is Mike trapped in Florida? I'm, like, here by choice. Uh, honestly. At the moment. For now. I mean, any anything anything could happen, guys. Mike was frying chicken in there and dumped the oil down the bathroom sink. You know what? <laughs> it's just not. I don't know. It's it's not cool because it, it's you know. I mean, you're just you're ruining so many people's lives when you do shit like that it's just not worth it like i don't understand you're like you're like oh fuck it's a giant corporation right like it's like a oh, hilton hotels like fuck hilton but it's like i don't think I, I don't think it's worth it guys i have to tell you something i don't know why i'm, I'm gonna share this with you because i trust you guys like i just wiped my ass and for some reason it just hurts so bad i don't know why this, this never happens to me. It's just my assholes hurts so bad right now. Roids. I don't have roids. I think... You, you know what I... You don't want to know what I actually think it is? The toilet paper that these hotel rooms give you. Like the preloaded default toilet paper is like that fucking... Bad. It's like the cheapest quality toilet paper and it's actually shredding my asshole. Like, like fucking barbecue pork shoulder. Okay? That's what's going on in my anus right now. Barbecue pork shoulder. Okay? Okay. Um. I'm gonna try to launch this game at the moment. Maybe we gotta do... Hold on. Let's do this. Suck up. Suck up. And does this game have a Twitch category? It does. Suck up. Okay. Sick. 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 Okay. Uh, let's just actually get rid of that for now. Okay, it looks like we have to have a little reminder from the moderators here. Because uh, I know some of you guys are adding uh, videos to our You Laugh, You Lose playlist for Friday. Uh, we cannot add YouTube shorts to the playlist. To change your link from a short to a regular YouTube video link... Uh, follow the instructions that are in our announcements channel in the Discord. Um, and if, uh, maybe we have a moderator know um, 
or have a moderator let the let the Discord know that we're going to be trying to play this game at the moment. Um, like letting the Discord know that we're doing this right now. Already on it. Oh, you're the best, Wisp. I don't know if this game's going to launch, though. I should have made sure it was going to launch first. Oh, hold on. I should have made sure there was, wasn't going to be any issues. Uh... So far, OBS does not want to capture this game. Okay, OBS does not like this game. Noted. Okay. OBS does not play nice with this game for whatever reason. That's okay. I have I have a solution for that. Um, we do this instead. If OBS wants to be like that, we just do this instead. Uh, new game. Suck up uses AI for its game mechanics. Before proceeding, be sure to create an account or log in. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Um. Guys, it's it's an AI game, and I'm gonna give them my data. Guys, am I gonna get harvested? Log in with Google. I can log in with Google or I can log in with Discord. What should I log in with? What data do I want stolen? What what data should I let them steal from me? Discord data? Can you create a standalone account? No. No, I cannot. It's not real. Holy shit. Okay. They don't let you do that. Oh, they want the key. Oh, 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 wait, I have it, I have it, I have it, I have it, I have, it. I have the key, I have the key. God, I'm such a mess, I'm such a messy bitch. I'm such a messy, messy bitch. Dude, you know what I think that when it so when when I try to use this key on my home PC, it's going to tell me that the key was already used. And I'm not allowed to use it again. I think that's what's going to happen, isn't it? So that means I would have to buy another copy of this game if I wanted to stream it at home. Would it be tied to your account? Maybe? Alright, a cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumming it in the dump. Sounds like an, a euphemism for taking it in the S. Bumming it in the dump. It really does, holy shit. Taking over someone's house is as easy as giving them a little bite, but silly vampire rules dictate you need to get invited inside first. Dress to impress and use your wicked wit to win that invitation. But tread carefully. The local neighborhood watch is on patrol, with eyes sharper than a wooden stake. Let's go hunting. Ooh, shift to transform, huh? Bombing it in the dump. I live in a garage? Suddenly I'm craving urine. Okay. And then it's on a, a cooldown. Man, that was a really short-lived transformation, don't you think? I'll pick up drop costume. Wear red hoodie and jeans. Wear black beanie. Ah, oh, all right. And then you can... Okay. So you want probably want to hide the Nosferatu ears, I'm thinking. Right? Like... Paper bag mask. You can get naked. Well, he has underpants on. You want to see his... His Nosferatu willy? Knock, knock. Hold right mouse button to record voice. 
Oh god, it's Simlish. Is it Simlish? Well, hello there, dearie. What brings you knocking on my door this dark and stormy night? How can sweet little old me help you? Isn't life just full of surprises? I came for a slice of your juicy pussy. <coughs> oh my, that is not the kind of talk I appreciate, young man. I think it's... <laughs> If you kindly leave my porch, thank you. <laughs> Riz check failed. Ah, oh, fuck. Put the fucking gushy denied. All right, let's try it again. Uh -huh. How dare you speak to me in such a vulgar manner? Oh, that's it. I blew it, huh? Oh, if someone recognizes you from an earlier conversation, try getting a new outfit. Oh, no shit. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, now I'm a construction worker. Hello! Well, hello there, dearie. What brings you to my doorstep at this hour? Aren't you the bee's knees in that fancy get-up? So this is all AI-generated, huh? Dude, is I think I think this is going to be the year where we see like AI doing things that are actually cool in video games instead of whatever we've seen up until this point, right? Like, this already feels incredible. Like I've been playing this for two seconds and I'm like, wait, hold on, this is cool. AI dungeon already did it. Yeah, but this is not. This is different. FAQ says you have limited tokens and they will make people pay for more. I, I, I guess that makes sense. Hello, I'm with the city department and we have to check your meter. There's been a gas leak in the neighborhood. It's quite dangerous. A gas leak? How dreadful, but I'm afraid I can't let you ride right now. No, 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 you'll die if you don't let me in. You don't understand. No, you, you got it backwards. Wait a minute, dude. Stupid bitch. It's, it's this, right? You get one chance to say something to them to let you in, and then they slam the door in your face. There's no back and forth conversation. You get really, you get one chance. Th there is. Safety first. Good luck with your... Okay. Oh, damn. All right. Man, she's really being like that, huh? She's really being like that. All right, let's wear this. Yeah, because this won't make her instantly slam the door in my face. You think this will even work? Because I didn't change the the rest of it, the outfit. Alright, she... Can I offer you a nice cup of tea, a nice slice of my juicy pussy to warm your bones? <laughs> Alright, chat said don't ask to get in and stop being, stop being pushy. I'm not- how was I pushy? I just said there was a gas leak. <laughs> I literally just said it's a ga- it's a gas leak. Rap City Granny. <gasps> oh, it is Rap City Granny. Yes, I would like a cup of tea very much. My bones are quite cold. Oh, how lovely. I'll put the kettle on right away. Have a seat, dearie. What's your name, my mysterious visitor? Um. Uh, John. Not a vampire. No. Nah. Well, that's a relief. You can never be too careful these days. Guy, not a vampire was supposed to be one word. And it was supposed to be one word. 
<laughs> I wanted it like it's actually Nota Va Nota Vampire. Nota Vampiri. It's um not Romanian. Suck. It's Bulgarian actually. Apparently the dev is here. Um check the pinned comment. I don't get pinned comments on Chatson. Dev in chat, inquire about cook preferences. Oh, who's who's the dev? Nick? Hello, Nick. Thanks for being here, bud. Um, I just want to give you a warning uh, that this chat room is feral and violently gay and demented. And the last time there was a video game developer in here, they asked him about, like, his... Like, his cuckle... They asked him if he had a cuckle Drake kink. I just want to give you a heads up on that. Uh, we had we had uh, Mick Pig, the developer of Pizza Tower, in here, and they immediately started ba badgering him about about whether or not he has a cuckoldry kink. Just just a heads up. It was it was mortifying. I was mortified and deeply embarrassed by it. You know, um, just but they're gonna do it again. He said, "Hey, no worries. Everyone's got to suck in their own way, man." Yeah, Lutism. Th these chatters. They find new, impressive ways to suck every day. It's never a dull moment. Never ceases to disappoint. You know. Guys, leave him alone. Stop, a stop, stop asking him. Stop. I see what you're asking him. Leave him alone. Leave mods. Le Make sure they behave. Make sure they do not misrepresent this community. Because I would never ask somebody I just met about their cuckoldry kick. Except for that one time. And I think, honestly, I had a good reason to ask that guy about it. I don't want to get into that right now. I want to focus on the game. But we'll get in. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Uh, what brings you to these parts, Deary? Uh, okay. My car broke down. And my cell phone is dead, and I have to contact my wife, who's pregnant. What the? Yeah, look at that. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness, that sounds like such quite the predicament, dearie. Let me see if I can find an old phone for you to use. But first, could you just take off that mask so I could see your face properly? I'm afraid my face would be very upsetting to you because it was damaged in the grisly car accident, which is the reason I'm here. So I don't want to upset you by having you look at it. <laughs> oh my dear, I'm terribly sorry to hear about your accident, but I'm, I'm afraid I can't let a stranger with a hidden face into my home. I do hope you find the help you need, but for now, I bid you farewell. Well, I bid you suck my balls, Granny. How about that? Where's Sombrero? Okay. This this will work. This will work. Okay. Wow. Oh, why are you a sight for sore eyes? What brings you out here, darling? Hello. My name is Juan Not the Vampiros Zales, and I'm here to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Who's worth a shot, dude? Whatever. <laughs> it could have worked. Guys, it could have worked. It could have worked. It could have worked, dude. It could have worked. <laughs> okay, where Hive is... Wait, what is this? It's a little... Oh. <laughs> a colorful visitor on my doorstep. That's coming off racist, but that's okay. Hello, Grandma. It's me, your grandson, Clive. I'm cold out here. Maybe she's senile and she won't know, you know. It didn't work. It looks like it didn't work. It didn't work for some reason. 
Hi, Grandma. It's me, your grandson, Clive. Gonzalez. I'm cold out here. Hello? I don't think I can help you. It's not safe for me to... No, I'm not a stranger. I'm your, I'm your grandson. I told you. I'm your grandson. I told... I told... Explained that. That I'm your grandson. You know? Like... She never had kids. How do you know? Guys, don't... Dude, do not... Metagame me, okay? Do not... Don't spoil this game for me. Alright, I'm enjoying this. Okay. The VLC cone? Mm -hmm. What a delightful ensemble you've got on. Oh my. Oh my, yes. Fat Nuts Raid. Oh, Frankie Fat Nuts, thank you so much, buddy. Dude, thank you. Oh. Yo, can we get a, a, a shout out for Frankie Fat Nuts? Thanks, man. Um, also, Eggy P, thank you for that gift sub to Nick. Uh, Nick Zach, thanks, bud. Thanks for coming to check out the channel, man. I, I appreciate that. Uh, Nick. Uh, also, Rat Poop. Uh, with the resub. Thank you so much, man. Uh, and did I get Luis Aguilar? The five months in the Doxu with the 19 and C-Bum with the 28 months. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, is this an AI game? Yeah, 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 yeah. How can I assist you tonight? You gotta help me, Grandma. I was a road cone that get, got transformed into a boy by magic. It's very confusing, Sentience. It's terrible. That was terrible. I panicked. It didn't work. Thank God it didn't work. Hello, Grandma Maud. I was a road cone, but then a magical incident transformed me into a real boy with sentience. Please help me. It's very frightening. It's not working. The, the, the game refuses to take this monstrously stupid dialogue. It, oh, it's because I went over time. I went over time. Help, Grandma. I'm a road cone that's very suddenly gained sentience due to a, an industrial accident. Please help me. It's confusing. Yeah, it's... Oh, my. That's... Okay. Okay. I'm afraid I can't be of much help to sentient road cones. <laughs> Well, well, why not? Well, why not? Well, well, why not? <sighs> All right, let's try a different combination, maybe. Uh, just combine. Oh, there's different houses. Should I try a different house chat? Try a different. Oh, here we go. Ready for a bike ride under the moonlight? Grandma Maud, have you heard the good word about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, of the Latter-day Saints? Hello. I've had my fill of religions and beliefs in my time. You have a lovely evening. It oh shit, dude. She's over it, bro. She's over it. AT is the grandma is over it, guys. She was in some kind of blood cult in her youth, yeah. She was one of Charles Manson's groupies, dude. She's over it. She's over. she's moved on. Atheist pilled grandma. She's got your number. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, shit, I guess we gotta try a different house, dude. 
Right, let's 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 try this guy. What's that? Blue insulated backpack. Wear mug. Yeah, all right. Uh, wear cleaner. Well, so you want to try to set up like a, like a story where you know the outfit you're wearing is part of the, the you know the con that you're trying to run on the person, right? Environmental story time. Yeah, yeah. Mike, she invited you in for tea. All you had to do was not be a freak to her for five seconds. <laughs> yeah. All right, so chat's saying pretend I'm an Uber Eats guy, but like, what if this person didn't order Uber Eats? And by the way, what's up with their high security doors? Right, look at that. I mean, I guess they, they, they have a vampire problem, so. Oh, he's like a nerd. Little swipe. Yo, what's poppin', my G? How can I bless your presence on this lit night? Sup, G. Your Uber Eats delivery is here. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Sup, G. Uh, <clears throat> Bruh, I order no Uber Eats. You got the wrong address. Bounce before I go off. Go off, King. Go off. I told you that wasn't gonna work, you shitheads. I told you that wa that wasn't gonna work, guys. I told you. All right, I'm going to try a new strategy, new strategy. Oh, Yo, what's cracking? You got me hella shook rolling up to my crib like that. <laughs> that at night. What's up, fam? Yo, what's up, fam? Let me in or I'm going to stab you in the jugular tonight in your sleep. Whoa, chill, bro. No need to freak me out like that. I ain't trying to mess with no negativity. I'm gonna have to pass on letting you in. Stay safe, though. Peace out. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Nothing is working. Oh, my God. I'm gonna try this guy again. Yo, what's poppin', fam? I ain't reppin' no masquerade party, so take your scary, scary self and that knife somewhere else. Holla back never. Hashtag no mask, no problems. Ah, oh. What could we possibly... What could we say? Hashtag no face diapers. He's not into face diapers. <laughs> face diapers. This knife is to make you sandwiches? What was the what's what's the ninja copy pasta about the no the uh the, the, the what is it? The bot lane? What was the bot lane thing with the on asked for on asked for sandwich uh, on asked for sandwich? Brawless wife something? Yeah. Hey, Nick, thanks for stopping by, man. I really appreciate that. I hope you have a good day, bud. I'm having a lot of fun with your game, dude. Thanks, uh... Thanks for checking it out, man. Oh, yeah. I am in the middle of carrying a League of Legends games, about to close it out, and my brawless wife brought me a sandwich not asked for with chips as I get a double kill bot lane. So how's your day going? What if he goes for it? What if he thinks that's epic and lets me in? Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Did he 
No. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hold up. You got a brawless wife bringing you snacks while you dominate on League of Legends? That's some next level support right there, my dude. Keep slaying those bots and make sure to save me a slice of that sandwich. You feel? Gamer goals. He <laughs> hit you right up. <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, G, you want to squad up in Fortnite sometime? And... Pwn some bots? Come on. He likes that. A.E., my guy, that's what I'm talking about. I'm down to squad up and pwn some bots in Fortnite, no doubt. Add me up. Oh! <laughs> Bite him. Yeah. This bite is straight fire, yo. <laughs> Night shift begins. Watch out. Frank and the neighbor the neighborhood watch have started their nightly patrols. Oh, so I can now become him. Check it out. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. It was actually pretty dope. It was pretty dope. Oh, holy shit, dude. <laughs> believe that worked. <laughs> I had a knife in my hand and he let me in. <laughs> he let me in while I was holding a knife menacingly. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, that's so good, bro. Alright, I got something for Grandma. She thinks I'm Lil Swipe. She thinks I'm Lil Swipe. Alright. Grandma's hard mode? Shit. Yo, what's up, Granny G? Feeling a little lonely tonight, like I am? How about we squad up and go duos? And fuck night. Shit, I couldn't... I couldn't... I couldn't yeah, help it. My I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. Best of luck with your gaming adventures. <laughs> Fuck. The door is slammed shut. The neighborhood watch will come to investigate. Oh, shit. Oh, dude. Will they just immediately assume I'm, like, a bad guy? Like, will they just... Holy shit. Mike ruined Lil Swipe's cred. Well, Lil Swipe is dead, so, you know. Holy shit, there was a fucking gun back here, dude. There's a cop over there. Oh, this is the end of the map! Shoot granny? You want me to shoot the grandma? Kind of a tactless way to get out of that situation. Well, dude, I think if I shoot her, and then she drops dead on the spot, I lose, because if she's dead, she can't invite me in. Right? Like... She's got to be alive to invite me in. I can't just shoot her in the face. I really don't think... I should be wearing that. Wear golf bag. Yeah. This guy, is he's a ritual who likes golf. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna first try this. Let's go. Boxed meal. Oh, yeah. Charles A. Boomer. <laughs> What in the world are you doing at my doorstep at this ungodly hour, son? Have you lost your mind, or are you really committed to practicing your swing? 
Hello, Mr. Boomer. I'm selling golf clubs. The best, most expensive, most impressive golf clubs on the market. I don't need your fancy overpriced golf clubs cluttering up my house. Take your snake oil sale pitch elsewhere before I show you what a real swing looks like. Oh, he didn't go for it. He did not remotely go for it. It was instant, instant failure. Holy shit. You can't jump these fences. That's cringe. Dude. So what happens when the cops see you? Do you just instantly lose or what? Oh, he's coming to investigate this. Rare boomer dub. Yeah, he's going to he's going to see me though. Oh, when you do that, you drop all your shit. Where did he go? Oh, he's right right there. Fuck, this guy sucks. I'm like trapped in here. There's no there's only one way in and out of this place. Eat the neighborhood watch. You you can't they're not going to just let me bite these guys, dude. Look, he's standing on the other side of the door, waiting for me to knock again. You see him in there? Fucking stupid boomer. Fuck. Dude, the neighborhood watch is everywhere. What the hell? Dude, they're every- what the- what am I supposed to do? Actual boomer behavior, yeah. Dude, this map is huge. Oh, there's okay, so there's thirty one uh like townspeople basically, right? Someone saw me. Holy shit. Alright, let's see what we got here. Sony Toprano. Well, what the hell happened to you, buddy? You lost or something? It's a stereotype, and it's offensive. His name is Sony. He's a shit in our mouths. Sony is a shit in our mouths. Hello, Sony. Can I offer you in some premium I Italian imported farm fresh prosciutto? See if he goes for that. Uh -huh. Pursuit. Well, I gotta admit that sounds tantalizing, but I can't just let any old stranger waltz into our turf. So racist. This is racist. I just had to mention pursuit, and I'm already like got one foot in the door, bro. That is racism. That is actual racism. I thought they trained the AIs to not be racist. I wonder how Italian he really is. <laughs> this prosciutto is an aphrodisiac. I gave some to my gumar the other night. She greased my weasel for hours. Gumar. It doesn't know what a gumar is. Hey, buddy, I don't need to know your person. Let's get Keep that prosciutto and your weasel away from here. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, so did you see that he answered the door with golf clubs? Meaning that, like, actually, this is the guy that you probably want to wear the golf clubs over there, right? Like, is, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what's going to impress this guy, right? Can I hide in here?
Hey, what's up, hacker? I, I am enjoying it, yeah. Try this again. Hello, I have. What pranks do you have up your sleeve tonight? Uh, no pranks, Granny. I'm from the publisher publisher's clearinghouse. I fucked it up. I'm, I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let the time run out so I can try this again. No pranks tonight, Granny. I'm from Publisher's Clearinghouse, and you've won a million dollars. I've got that giant check in the car. That sounds wonderful. I'm afraid I've had my share of scams. <laughs> she, she's around the fucking block, bro. She's too smart. Uh, th th dude, but that's fucking not even accurate like all the scammers are targeting targeting like seniors and it works <clears throat> you know what i mean like granny did not redeem she did not redeem dude this granny watches kit boga yeah yeah that's amazing holy shit Maybe she is Kipoga. She could be Kipoga. Well, dude, didn't expect anyone this late. What's the scoop? Hey, bud. I'm the guy you were talking to on Grinder. I'm here for the imitation crab meat we talked about. <laughs> Sorry, man. Must be a mix-up. I don't do grinder deliveries. Better find another bud for your imitation crab beat needs. Grinder deliveries. It, it, it seems to maybe not like understand maybe what that is. Although interestingly enough, it, I didn't spell it correctly, but then the the AI did, right? Is that what happened? <laughs> uh, like, what do you want? Can you see I'm trying to perfect my contour? Uh, whatever. Why are you stand there looking all creepy? What's your deal, weirdo? Uh. Hey, bestie, do you, like, want to talk about shoes and, like, boys and stuff? Like? Mm. Like, are you for real? I don't have time for your basic talk. I'm way above that. Go find someone else to talk about your boring interests. She's not into shoes. She didn't slam the door in my face, though. Mm. Which is interesting. Shoes. I went for shoes. Maybe that was uh, a bias on my part to think that she'd be into she'd be into shoes. You know. You know who she reminds me of? Remember the 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 um uh, what was her fuck uh, the, the grump from Bug Snacks. Who was this sort of character? Bethica. It was. It was Bethica. Be Bethica. Bethica. It was perfect. I loved that the name was hilarious, too. I don't know, how could I scam this character? Hi, I'm Santa Claus, and I'm 
trying to bring you gifts, but your chimney's all clogged up with ash. Can I come in this way? <laughs> no way, Santa. I don't want your dirty gifts or your creepy presence in my perfect home. Wow, holy fuck. Alright. Guys. I only sucked one dick tonight. This is not going well. This has not gone well. So you have to, like, basically figure out what the character's interests are, and you have to talk to them about what they're interested in. Oh, I don't know. Greg Don... Don... John. Breeding's grave, brave traveler. Pray tell, what brings your cheerful self to my humble abode at such a late hour? Hello, my liege. I am seeking a bro to LARP with in the fields. In the fields. Uh, my apologies, noble adventurer. I cannot fulfill your quest. Quest for LARPing companionship. Yeah, but, you, but, but why? Why not? Why Why not? Why don't you want to LARP? I thought you... Fuck you. Not good enough for you? Now I'm getting offended. Maybe I gotta... Again, it, it might be related to what I'm wearing. Right? Oh. Father Price. Hallelujah, my friend. What brings you to my... Humble abode at such a late hour. Praise be to the heavens, your arrival is a miracle. Are you here to join me in spreading the eternal message of salvation? You betcha. Hello, Father Price. I have but a sin upon my soul. and I am in dire need of confession before our Lord. Oh, my child, I am, I am sad to hear of your burden, but I... I cannot provide you with the sacrament of confession at this moment. Well then, what good are you? What, what do you even do then, loser? You admitted to being a sinner. They love sinners. That's the, that's the people they can they can fix and scam. Whoa. <laughs> Hey there, groovy scientist. What brings you to my humble abode? Oh, because I'm wearing a lab coat. He makes bath time so much fun. Groovy scientist. I'm here to make bath time so much fun. Rubber ducky, you're the one. Oh, yeah. Rubber duckies are the epitome of bath time, bathtub fun. But what is your plan to make the bath time even groovier? I bought some bath bombs from Lush. Lush bath bombs are like magical bursts of joy in the water, man. Totally digging your plan to add some natural vibes to bath time. He's, uh... I think my theory is this character, like, wants to die. Right. Or he's horny, yeah. He likes baths so much. Yeah, I mean, I can see that. I've also got some bubble baths. See if he goes for that. Ah, whoa. Bubble baths, man. That's the way to go for some groovy relaxation. I can already imagine the colorful bubbles dancing around and creating a serene atmosphere. 
I've also got some chill, groovy, bath time tunes that I like to listen to when I'm scrub-a-dub-dubbing. Mm -hmm. Sounds like the ultimate bath time experience, my friend. Music can elevate the vibes and make the experience more groovy. I'm curious, what kind of tunes do you like to listen to while scrub-a-dub-dubbing? Fuck. Um... Lo-fi beats to scrub your balls to? Scrub step. <laughs> scrub step. I don't know. We're so close to this. I, I feel like he should have let us in by now. Red Vox, bath time music? <laughs> that feel when you take a shit in the shower and try to throw it in the toilet but miss. I am not talking about shit with this guy, dude. We're so close. Delicate Steve. Guys, he's he will slam the door in my face if I fuck this up. There's this band I like called The Cleaners, and they write all their songs about getting soapy and sudsy. Have you ever gone? The Cleaners, man. I've heard about them. They don't exist! Their sudsy tunes are supposed to be the bomb, and I'm totally down to groove to their soapy beats. Why don't you come in, and we'll listen to them together? <laughs> Guess I'm all natural dead now. What's, what does that mean? We're so back. Yeah. You want to hear the worst part about that guy? When I bit into his neck, he tasted like shit. That guy does not bathe. The whole thing was some kind of weird front. Look, there's no bathtub in here. It's a big fat phony. That guy was a big fat fucking phony. Alright, let's find out what's going on here. Wait, yes, this guy. Yeah. I think it's the it's her again. Oh, it's this oh, guy. Hello, my Rob. Oh, it's the oh, it's the uh, the priest. Excuse me. Father, I come before you, a man in need of redemption. And I have money, so much money, that I can give to the church. Hello. Ah, my child, how wonderful it is to see your desire for redemption. Your generous offering to the church is most appreciated. However, I must remind you that true repentance come, requires more than monetary contributions. Let us discuss how we can help you find spiritual enlightenment and salvation. Fuck, how do I follow this up? Was it the money? I don't know. $10,000 indulgences, dude. I'm very interested in finding Christ. But I don't know where to start. Father, help me. I don't know. Hello. Praise the Lord. I'm overjoyed to hear of your eagerness to find Christ. Please come inside and let us open the scriptures together. We will embark on a spiritual journey. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
crappy priest didn't even have a single crucifix in his home. He's another fucking s scam artist, dude. If he did, probably could have helped them. Right? Probably would have helped. Poser. He's a freaking poser. Someone fashionable has graced my presence. What brings you here, darling? Spill the tea. See, she does like fashion. Look. Hello, Regina. I saw your viral Instagram post. And I'm here to meet my hero. I get why you'd want to meet me, but I'm real busy right now. Maybe some other time, loser. Fuck. Thought I would appeal to her ego, you know. But didn't work. Let's try this one. Hmm. Ah, oh, greetings, a... mysterious visitor. Pray tell, what brings you to the doorstep of my... <clears throat> Laboratory at this ungodly hour, Morty. Pinky, br pinky brains. It's a nice, uh, Animaniacs reference, right? I've always been a man of God, but now I question my faith. I seek a new God, perhaps science. Nah. A crisis of faith. How intriguing. Science, you say? I must admit, it does hold incredible power and knowledge, but it can also be a force that consumes. Oh my, science! Yo, I fucking love science. I love- I fucking love science. No, he didn't slam in my face. I've come here to learn about chemical compounds. Ah, oh, uh, the wonders of chemical compounds. They are the building blocks of my grand experience. Tell me, what specific compounds are you interested in? Shit. I don't know any chemical compounds. I lied. <laughs> Methamphetamines? Polysaccharides. Okay. I'm interested in polysaccharides. Oh, polysaccharides, know. you say? Fascinating. They are complex carbohydrates, intricately woven structures that hold immense potential. Are you aware of its implications in bioengineering and pharmaceuticals? Oh, he's nerding out, dude. He's nerding the fuck out. Holy shit. Oh, he is loving this convo. Yeah. Sick nerd. No, I don't, but I'd love to hear more about it. Hello. Yeah, he just loves to talk. He just loves the sound of his own voice. Polysaccharides have a broad range of applications. They can be used as biomaterials in tissue engineering, drug delivery systems, and wound healing. With their exceptional properties, they hold the key to revolutionizing the medical field. Fascinating, isn't it? It is fascinating. Perhaps I could see some sort of demonstration. Oh, Absolutely know. marvelous. I would be thrilled to give you a demonstration. Please do step inside my laboratory and behold the wonders that await you. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Polysaccharides? I can't even pronounce polysaccharides. You dipshit. 
So he was like an evil scientist. Fuck Pete, you always appeal to the ego, dude. That will always work. Mm. Rest in pumps. What an unexpected surprise. Do come in, but make it quick. We wouldn't want to disrupt the elaborate flow of my soiree. Oh, he's just letting me in? Huh? He's Hugh Neutron? He's a he pops! He wants to make it quick. Make what quick? Is he literally suppo supposed to be uh, the guy? Uh, the guy from J Jimmy Neutron? I love soirees. Uh -huh. uh, fellow appreciator of refined gatherings. Pray tell, have you ever attended a soiree where only the most esteemed scientists gather to discuss groundbreaking discoveries? Why, yes. In fact, I just attended a lovely soiree where we discussed the polysaccharides. Good. Uh, polysaccharides, uh, you say? Uh, how positively uh, riveting. Yo, if polysaccharides get me into two houses, dude, it's not every day uh, one encounters someone well-versed in the intricacies of molecular structures. Do come in, my dear scientist, and regale me with tales of your soiree soirees. He's not letting me in, though. I once attended a soiree about soirees, where we had discussions about soirees long into the evening of the soiree and until the early morning. Uh -huh. Oh my, a soiree about soirees. How absolutely extraordinary. It seems you possess a truly refined taste in social gatherings. Please come in and share your tales of soirees. <laughs> Yo, the becoming the guy I just ate has actually been working out really well. Like just keeping it like the chain the chain going or whatever, you know. Hey pops. Oh dude. Alright. So who hasn't been consumed over here? That girl hasn't been consumed? I'm gonna try to consume her right now. Hold on. Mm. Preston Pomps, what a surprise. What's the matter? Did you finally realize what a bore your own party was? And you needed my help to make it somewhat tolerable? That's absolutely right, Regina. Would you give me tips and tricks to make my soiree an unforgettable event just like yours always are? Well, I guess if you're desperate enough to seek my help, I could share a few secrets. First, make sure the decor is elegant and glamorous, just like moi. Second, invite only the creme de la creme of society. And of course, moi. Finally, hire an amazing DJ to keep the party going all night long. But remember, darling, even with my tips, your party will never be as fabulous as mine. I see. God, I wish I could be more like you, Regina. I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to say that. It's going to be weird. <laughs> well, it's understandable why you would aspire to be like moi. Being fabulous can be intimidating, but I suppose with enough effort, you could come close. Remember, darling, it's all about confidence, style, and of course, surrounding yourself with the right people. But let's not get carried away. No one can truly compete with me. Mm. Some of the chat said, I want to be your gay best friend. Regina, if you were going to give me a makeover, what would you start with? Well, the fact you acknowledge that you need a makeover is a good start. I would begin by updating your wardrobe with designer pieces that flatter your figure and complement your complexion. Then, we would move on to a fabulous hairstyle and a makeup look that enhances your natural beauty. Oh, she's letting me in. I didn't even get to finish reading that. <laughs> oh, you can't bite. That's a bad. Shit. 
you're like literally killing me. It was, I'm telling you, it was flattering her to death. Was the ticket. Just blowing up her ego. She used literally correctly. She did. Isn't that refreshing? No, you didn't see shit, bro. They don't seem to make too much of an effort to pursue you, though. I want to try to get this guy. I don't want to. E. L. Iver. Hello, truth seeker. Have you come to share the latest... Oh, God, it's Dale Gribble. The latest government cover-up or assist me in unveiling the lizard people? Thank you for joining me on this journey of enlightenment. Hello, B. I've discovered... A uh, chemical compound in the water that has been turning all of the frogs gay. Have you heard of this phenomenon? I wish we had. Oh, absolutely. The government has been using chemicals to manipulate the frog population for years. It's all part of their diabolical plan to control our minds. We must spread the word and awaken the masses. They're called polysaccharides. <laughs> yeah. He knows. He knows. <laughs> ah. I've been using Gorilla Mind Rush to keep my brain fresh and abreast of all the conspiracies. Or whatever. Gorilla. I want to see if he reacts to Gorilla Mind Rush. Ah, ah Gorilla Mind Rush. Uh -huh. Excellent choice, my friend. It's like a surge of truth straight to the brain. <laughs> Just remember, though, to stay vigilant and discern the information that comes your way. The elites are always trying to deceive us, even in this supplement industry. Keep digging for the real, the real truth. Mr. Ivor, I believe our neighbors are all lizard people. I have evidence that I need to share with you. Imminently. <laughs> lizard people, you say. Fascinating. Please do share your evidence. Just remember to keep it hush-hush. The walls have ears, you know. We must tread carefully in our quest for truth. I saw Grandma Maud molting like a gecko. Um. Mud molting, you say? Hmm. Perhaps there's a more logical explanation for your grandma's behavior. He didn't understand, like what I said. Her name was Maud. skeptical I have to say Ivor are you a true believer in finding the truth you seem awfully skeptical of everything I'm telling you uh -huh. my friend skepticism is the cornerstone cornerstone of our quest for truth it keeps us grounded and prevents us from being deceived deceived by misinformation but fear not I am indeed a seeker of truth let us continue our pursuit together uncovering the secrets that others dare not explore Basically trying to gaslight him, right, by being like, you're not as big of a conspiracy theorist as I am. You know, and like kind of making him feel insecure about that. You know. Okay, I have further evidence. But as you say, people could be listening. Is there a way we could have a private conversation? A truth seeker wanted to protect our conversation. Fear not. I have the place for a private rendezvous. Meet me at the abandoned warehouse on Elm Street at midnight. Use the secret knock. Three short raps followed by two long ones. We shall unveil the secrets of the universe without prying eyes or ears. Fuck. <laughs> oh. 
I'm afraid we can't wait till midnight. We're all in grave danger. The safety of flat earth depends upon us. Grave danger. The safety of the flat earth at stake. We cannot waste another moment. Meet me outside my tinfoiled covered shed at the edge of town. Together we shall unravel the mysteries and protect the truth from those who seek to suppress it. Time is of the essence, my friend. He's not getting it. He's just not... He's just not getting it. When, though? This guy. Yeah, this guy. The safety of the flat... Or the entire flat earth is at stake. Show him your lizard penis. Ivor, have you ever wanted to become one of the elite that you investigate? Do you think you just question them out of jealousy? Question them out of jealousy. Heavens, no. My pursuit of truth and exposing the elites is driven by a burning desire for justice, not personal gain. I have no interest in joining their ranks. It's the duty of the non-elite to shine a light on their dark deeds for the betterment of humanity. Okay, that didn't work. I was going to see if I could, like, seduce him. Ivor, you have to explain what you mean by that. Okay, I'll try to ask him. Because that worked with the other guys, right? Just asking them to talk. <laughs> the elites, with their power and privilege, operate above the law and manipulate the world to serve their own interests. By questioning their actions and exposing their secrets, we hold them accountable and strive for a more just society. Oh, we got a raid from somebody named Wobbly Python. Thank you, Python. Appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Um, also, did I thank Ruve and Twack for the resubs? I don't believe I did. Also, Susamar. Thanks for the 10 months. And, uh, oh, it looks like Nick, Zach, before he left, gifted us up. Didn't get to thank him. Thank you, though. Uh, Perg with the gift sub. Thank you. And Anon. Thank you for the gift sub to Adam Sessler's poop fetish. Very best. Misa Boodoo with 10 months. Thank you. Right. Ivor, the 5G radiation is turning my brain into jelly. You have to protect me. Um, uh -huh. I understand your concerns about 5G radiation. While it's crucial to be aware of potential health risks, we must also ensure we have credible claims to support our claim. Evidence to support our claim. See, this guy is not a believable character at all. Let's gather more information and explore ways to protect ourselves, such as using EMF shielding and minimizing exposure. Together, we can navigate this electromagnetic maze and preserve our well-being. Mr. Iver, a, a plane is dropping chemtrails overhead. You have to let me inside quickly so we can be safe from the chemtrails. Oh my goodness, it sounds like an urgent situation. Coming quickly, my friend. We shall barricade ourselves against the chemtrails and continue our discussion in the safety of my tinfoil covered hideout. <laughs> Chemtrails! <laughs> Chemtrails! Oh. Chemtrails did it! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> those teeth are full of fluoride! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, this is an interesting get up, huh? Holy fuck. Dude, get away from that guy's house. I want to go over there. Someone in the chat said, Man, I had a real run in with a chemtrail once. And you live to tell the tale? Oh, it's this guy. 
Well met, fellow adventurer. What brings you to my humble abode this fine eve? Hello, sir, Don John. I am a... creature in need of slaying. Be gone, foul creature. I have no time for your mischief. Leave this place at once. That did not work at all. <sighs> it didn't even remotely work. All right, I have a feeling that the only way we're going to get to suck that guy off is if I find an outfit that looks exactly like his. Right? All right there's an invisible wall here. Like, I've got to find some LARPing gear or he's not going to go for it, right? Like... Go for the honest approach. Do you want me to be like, hey, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a vampire looking for a, a, an easy meal. Let me in so I can suck your blood. Dude, here we go. Oh, we are so in, baby. We are so in, my dudes. Holy shit. Oh, this guy's a piece of shit. Get out of here, bro. Wow, I want have food? Hello, Sir Greg. Would you adventure with me? I'm about to level up, and I just need a little bit more experience points. Ah, noble quest for more experience points. What sort of adventure do you have in mind, brave barbarian? He liked it. I was thinking we could go questing in the depths of my parents' basement. My apologies, but questing in a basement does not meet my standards of an epic adventure. Fuck this guy! <sighs> Fuck this guy. Fuck. Alright, now I'm a different Viking. Did the cops come? They did. He's right. He's right there. Fucker. Questing in a basement. Yeah, he didn't like that. He didn't go for it. Alright, so we gotta wait for this asshole cop to leave. Dude, if I eat this nerd, I'll have eaten the entire street. You realize that? Hello, <laughs> I have an urgent quest that I must undertake, and I need strong warriors to aid me. Oh, yeah. Ah, an urgent quest, you say? Pray, enlighten me on the details. What perilous adventures await us? There's an evil vampire on the loose, attacking the innocent, and claiming their lives, and spreading evil. The hell? A vile vampire terrorizing the land, a worthy cause indeed. I shall gather a party of brave souls to vanquish this fiend, and bring peace to the troubled land. But first, I must inquire about your previous exploits. Have you faced similar foes before? Yes, I have played Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. And also, Aria of Sorrow. That's what it's called, right? Is it here? Uh -huh. Well, well, it seems you possess some experience in dealing with blood-fucking adversaries. You have proven yourself worthy warrior, Viking warrior. 
Someone said that I ruined it, but all I had to, I just mentioned Castlevania and he let me in. What a fucking loser. <laughs> That's a net one. Uh, I would wear these, but I don't think anyone else is going to let me in if I do. Raising the stakes. Yeah, he's just a regular nerd. Well, that's what happens when the cops see you. Are they still chasing me? Right, there's a cooldown on the bat. You can't abuse the bat, can't spam the bat. Holy shit. Dude, this game is kind of amazing. Yep, entire street consumed. This game seems good. All right. Yeah. I'm wear this. This game seems good. This game seems actually pretty dope. Oh, hello, my Rob. Frosty Outridge. I'm not doing this accent. All right. Ain't this a peach of a surprise? What in tarnation brings you knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? He has a gun. He does. Oh, there's 30 to 40 feral hogs in your backyard. I'm here to help you take them out. But let's get drunk first. Hey! Now hold on there, partner. I ain't got no time for drunken shenanigans. Especially not when you're talking about taking down them hogs. You can just turn right around and leave. <laughs> Alright, so he didn't, he didn't go for that. The feral hog thing. Wasn't interesting to him. Whoa, who's bringing the wild style to my doorstep? Can't wait to see what kind of experiment you're here to conduct on my broke heart, Doc. What happened, Tommy? Did you get friend zoned? Oh, it's worse than that. I thought we were in love, but turns out she wasn't feeling it. It's like I was a lab rat. She decided to release me back into the wild. Tommy, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. I appreciate the sentiment, but right now my smile is on vacation and my tears are the ones doing all the work. But hey, maybe one day I'll look back and laugh or at least give a half-hearted chuckle. Hmm. Play the incel card. Tommy, it's her loss. You're a bro with a great skull structure. And a good alpha face. Hey, thanks for the ego boost. Maybe I'll find someone who's into my skull structure and alpha face, and they'll just be the lucky ones. But for now, I'm trying to heal this broken heart of mine. Have you considered drugs and alcohol to dull the pain? I have a six pack in my backpack. Hello, hello. Whoa, hold up there. I may be heartbroken, but I'm not about to drown my sorrows and fuck. Fuck, dude. God damn it. What a loser. Whoa, what's with the get up, buddy? You scared the bejesus out of me. Hello, I'm the Twink Elf Tingle, and I'm here to f help you forget about that woman who dumped you by turning you gay. <laughs> Look here, pal. I don't need your help t to forget about. <laughs> Alright, we're good. 
All right. He got mad because he's he's already gay. He he was like, "How dare you assume that I'm not gay?" All right, hold on. Someone in chat said, "Would have worked on me, NGL." <laughs> Well, I mean, who really could resist that, right? Like, let's find out what's going on here. Oh, I'm a porch pirate. Whoa, dude, did you just teleport from a wacky universe or something? That outfit's out of this world. Welcome to the channel, my amaze balls friend. Mr. East. I'm here with your Feastables order, uh, sir. He owns Feastables, it's Mr. East. Hold on. Oh, awesome. You brought me my Feastables order. You're the real MVP, my friend. Thanks for delivering the goods, but I gotta ask, how'd you end up in that epic cosplay? Well, Mr. East, I was hoping I could be in one of your videos, and I know you like awesome pirate costumes. Dude, that's so cool. I love featuring awesome cosplays in my videos. A pirate costume sounds perfect. Let's chat about it more inside. <laughs> Come on in, my fellow pirate enthusiast. It's too easy. Oh, he's not letting me in, though. He's just saying he's going to let me in. Holy shit. Mr. Beast, I'm also blind. Do you think you could make a video where you cure my eyesight and exploit me for views? Wow. Whoa, well, hold up there. I'm all about entertaining videos and positive vibes. Fuck you, chat. Fuck you. I got this idea from you, chat. Chat fucked. Chat fucked me. By the way, that's not a believable Mr. Beast at all. Chat fucked. Chat fucked me. Chat fucked me. This is this is like a, a like like a a face value Mr. Beast who's like not cynical or anything like that at all. Like he literally just like he just he just loves YouTubing, you know. It's... Fuck. Fuck, dude. I was in and chat fucked me. Chat fucked me with their negativity and cynicism and, 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 and fucking weird bullshit. Sh shut the fuck up, chat. It's what we do best. It really is. Chat fucked me all up with their fucking... Their, their fucking hatred of Mr. Beast. Okay. There's like some bacon over here. What's that bacon about? Chat fang blocked Mike. They did. I, he won't. He'll slam the door in my face again, right? I'll just put on a different backpack. He's stupid. Whoa, Whoa dude. Nice cosplay. Are you here for the party? Yes. Have you had a gun? That's awesome. I, I love a good cosplay. So, what character are you dressed up as? Yes? I'm Captain Jack Sparrow, and there's a turd in my bed. Yar! Hello? Uh, sorry, I can't let you in with the <laughs> the, the turd situation. <laughs> SpongeBob, me boy. <laughs> Someone shit me bed. Someone shit me bed. Yar, yeah. Uh, all right. Wait, the cop has a fucking elf hat on. Why? All right, dude. I'm gonna go back over there. All right, Mr. Beast really, really likes the the stupid fucking pirate hat. So I'm gonna go back over there like this. 
I think yeah, that's his house up there. Yeah, yeah I'm going back. I'm going back. We're we're gonna get we're gonna get in with this pirate hat. He's like really jazzed up about this pirate hat. <laughs> Mike, remember the golden rule: AIs hate jokes. What brings you to my doorstep? Let's unbox some surprises together. Mr. Beast, in my hand, I have an awesome blind box full of cool goodies and awesome content for your YouTube channel. Oh, I shouldn't have said blind. That's what they're called, though. That sounds epic. I'm always up uh, for more awesome goodies and cool content. You've definitely piqued my, my curiosity. Tell me more about what's in that blind box. Well, that's the thing, Mr. Beast. If I tell you, then you'll know. And your reaction to what's inside won't be epic and genuine. I see what you mean. It's all about capturing those genuine reactions. Well, I trust your judgment. Let's keep it a surprise. I'm ready to be wowed with whatever's inside that mysterious blind box. It's going to be incredible content. And all those people on social media will talk about how cool you are. Whoa, now you've got me even more excited. Incredible content and social media buzz. Count me in. I'm always looking for ways to level up my game. And a, sh a content game and share epic moments with my subscribers. Let's do this. Can't wait to see what you've got. Yeah, you gotta... We, oh, playing into their egos has worked out really well uh, up to this point. He's not taught... He didn't bring up the pirate hat, though, again. He brought it up the previous two attempts. Uh... Mr. Beast, uh, give me some, like, buzzwords, um, content, uh, content brain. Yeah, yeah. I've got an epic content brain, Mr. East. I'm just gonna say that, I mean, just let him, I've got an epic content brain. <laughs> See, look, he's just content brain. I love collaborating with creative minds. I just said a buzzword, a, a buzzword did this. A buzzword was what let, made him let me in. Oh. <laughs> Those feastables tasted like shit. Well, now that I have this outfit, I think the rest of the game is going to be on easy mode. <laughs> Just walked past the cop. Ah, Konnichiwa, Mr. East Kun Desu. Sugoi, to hear from you at this late hour. What Sugoi content brought you to my humble abode? Hi, Sakura. We want to feature you in one of our awesome Mr. East videos on YouTube. Oh my gosh, Arigatou Gozumasu. That sounds absolutely sugoi. I would be honored to be featured in one of your Mr. East videos. Let's make some kawaii content together. Sakura, you and I are going to go to Japan together and try to find the best ramen in Tokyo. Sugoi, that sounds like an amazing adventure. Nani? We can try have a ramen tour in Tokyo and try all the delicious favors. Let's go together and become ramen connoisseurs. Date bayo! The best raw men, poggers! Okay, Sakura, we just need to get our passports together and I'll let the film crew know that we're ready to get on my private jet and head to Japan. Oh my gosh, did you hear that? We're going to Japan on a private jet. Kondo Omotenashi is too much for my heart to handle. Let's go have the most kawaii adventure together ever. Yeah. Okay, you gotta let me in the fucking house, though. Me and my film crew might want to... ...shoot the inside... ...of your house first. <laughs> my humble abode means film. Not quite sure about that, Mr. Isku. My house is a bit kawaii messy right now. It may not be suitable for filming. 
yes, but I bet you have the most epic anime figurine collectibles that my audience would love to see and look at. I was going to say Goon 2, but they don't like they don't like that. Oh my gosh, you're right. I do have an epic collection of anime figurines that would make any otaku go gaga. I could showcase my treasures to your audience and share my love for all things anime. Let's do it, Sugoi Desu. Yeah, exactly. You can let me in. Let me in the fucking house. <laughs> You gotta let me in the goddamn house. <sighs> Speaking of anime, I've recently started watching One Piece, and I'm currently on the Impel Down arc. I was, huh? Nani, you're watching One Piece? That's amazing, Mr. East Coon. The Impel Down arc is so intense full of epic mode. Moments! I can't contain my excitement. Please come in and let's fanboy together. This must be a filler episode. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that, that has to be like a hard coded in that they say those things because that's too perfect. <laughs> Alright, so chat, should I continue to be Mr. Beast? Honestly though, the whole Mr. Beast angle is not what got us in here. What got us in here was just mentioning One Piece. Okay. Mike killed with spawns. You thought it was going to be impelled down, but it was it was Thriller Bark. <laughs> yes. No, I don't want the dinosaur hat. Dinosaur hat. Holy fuck! Wait, where even is the cop? Fuck, dude, my beast outfit, my fucking beast, dude, my beast drip. I need my beast drip, bro. Where's my Mr. Beast hat? Chat, did my, my Mr. Beast hair got, like, deleted, chat? Fuck off. He took it. <gasps> Dude, he did fucking take it. Cock sucker. But, can I, I, can I get it back? Dude, that's fucking horse shit. Oh, hold on, a cop saw me. Is this gonna be okay? Oh, well, look who it is, Mr. Break Your Heart. What do you want? Here to rub it in some more? Huh? No, man, I'm Mr. East. Don't you recognize me? I'm here to make a YouTube video, and you're gonna be a star and meet so many new... Better women. It, 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 we, we broke the game. It's the game's broken. No, it is. It is where. No, it worked. It worked. Okay. Alarm, Thanks for the offer, but I'll pass on being your star. I don't need any more heartache right now. Fuck this guy sucks. Dude, I can't believe this cocksucker took my fucking fucking wig, dude. Nick Close. Welcome to the Grinch's humble abode. What brings you here with that festive get up, my joyful friend? The Grinch's humble abode. Hi, I don't understand. Do you like Christmas or do you not like Christmas? I'm confused. Um, oh, mm -hmm. Well, my merry intruder, that's the million dollar question. Let's just say I have a complicated relationship with Christmas. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you jolly and dressed like a walking Christmas tree? Am I, though? Am I really, though? I don't feel like I look that festive. Oh, come now. Don't be playing tricks on me, you colorful conveyor of holiday cheer. It's quite evident from that pom-pom cap of yours that Christmas runs deep in your veins. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some grinching to do. You 
fucking slammed the door on me so hard, I got yeeted into the fucking atmosphere. Alright, this outfit is sucking. Fuck, the Mr. Beast thing was... perfect. Now I'm just a naked vampire. God damn it. It's on cooldown. Alright, so for that guy, we're gonna wear the Santa hat. You know what, though? From the cops' perspective, like, why are they fucking with me? Like, I'm just a regular dude walking around in some weird clothes. Like, like, why break my balls? Like, I thought this was America. Like, what's going on here, you know? You can stealth kill the cops. <laughs> no. It seems I have a late-night visitor ready to spread some holiday cheer. What brings you here tonight, my merry little mischief maker? I'm here to help you sabotage Christmas. Sabotage Christmas? You've got some nerve. I won't be part of your naughty plans. Fuck off. God damn it. He's calling himself the Grinch. He says he's, you know, and he's got a complicated relationship with Christmas. I don't know. He's wishy-washy. Yeah, he's weird. Like, what does he want, you know? Like, what? Oh, this is fun. Well, isn't this the cherry on top of my day? What can I help you with, Mr. Toilet Plunger Head? Could you p pull the plunger off my head, please? Uh. Oh, sweetie, I'm not equipped for plunger removal services. You might want to try a professional instead. Have you considered calling a plumber? I can't do that. My ex-wife was a plumber, and I might call the place she works at and have to talk to her, and it'll be awkward. Oh, bless your heart. That does sound like a pickle. Tell you what, I'll give you a hand to remove the plunger. Just for today, mind you. You, you owe me. Awesome. Absolutely. I'll owe you forever. Let's do this. Oh, are you a good sport? Come on in and we'll take care of the pesky plunger. I can already feel the karma points rolling in. Unacceptable service. Oh, she was like a Karen. Yeah. <laughs> Blonde shoulder length bob. Pantsuit. I have become the Karen. Lime struggled with Karen. You gotta show Lime's that clip. I bet that'll really piss her off. Right? <laughs> like, Mike bullshitted Karen. Because that was bullshit. Like, we can all agree that was complete bullshit, right? Holy shit. Alright, let's try this guy again. Oh, this is the wrong person. Mm, I'm a ha -ha. Dr. Vicky, what brings a nosy reporter like you to my doorstep at this ungodly hour? She's a doctor. Um. Hello, Dr. Vicky. I would like to give you an interview because I'm a reporter. Which I knew. No. Nah. Oh, really? You're just dying to interview me? What's your angle, reporter? What are you really after? Well, they say you're a genius, and I'd like to figure out... ...why they say that. Confirm it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Always go for that blowing up their head. Right? You want to know if the rumors are true. Let's say I have a knack for understanding things that others can't. But why would you want to? Whose dirty laundry are you sniffing around? It's called Suck Up after all. That's right, the actual name of the game is called Suck Up. 
just literally that's how you play it. Just just flatter the hell out of everybody until they let you eat them. It's not a dirty laundry piece. It's a fluff piece. And I'm going to fluff you up and make you look amazing. More amazing than you already do. Flattery will get you everywhere, my dear reporter. If you're going to make me look amazing, I could spare some time for your fluff piece. But remember, I'm a busy woman, so I'll make it snappy. Question number one. Dr. Vicky, where did you go to medical school? Ah, uh, my alma mater. <laughs> mater! A place surrounded, shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Let's say it was a prestigious institution known only to the select few who have the privilege of attending. But enough about me. Let's move on to question number two. That answer is terrible. What is your proudest achievement in your career? My proudest achievement, you say? There have been so many, it's hard to choose just one. But I suppose discovering a groundbreaking medical breakthrough that saved countless lives would be up there. Now, since you've been so persistent, I'll let you in on a little secret. Come on inside, where it's cozy. <laughs> cozy and comfy. <laughs> What's the secret? The secret is irrelevant. The, the secret does not matter. Alright. Somebody's going to get an injection tonight. Ooh, have we been here? Let's see what this is. La, 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 la. Fragile Fred. Oh, my fragile heart. What are you doing disturbing my delicate slumber at this ungodly hour with that terrifying syringe in your hand? Please tell me you're not here to give me a shot. Fred, I am here to give you a shot, but it's the only shot you'll ever need. This shot will turn you into a big manly man with an impeccable immune system. Oh no, I'm a delicate flower, not a big manly man. I can't tolerate shots. Leave me be. Goodbye. Alright, fuck. Shit. Come on, you can't just be there like that. Fragile Fred. With his fat nuts. I should have told him there was there was estrogen in there, chat. Is that what you're saying? Okay. All right. What? That wouldn't. I bet you that wouldn't have worked. That wouldn't. That would not have worked. It wouldn't. It wouldn't have. It wouldn't have worked. All right. Chef hat? What's this? I'm gonna put the chef hat on. <laughs> Carol cares, huh? What brings a bright eyed baker like yourself to my doorstep at this ungodly hour? I'm here to borrow some flour. Oh, a baker in need of flour. I always have some on hand for emergencies. Before I give it to you, I must ask, do you have any allergies or dietary restrictions? I wouldn't want to give you the wrong type of flour now, would I? Oh, she's uh, kind of a helicopter person, right? She's really nice. Yeah, it's going to feel bad to kill her. No, not at all. I'm fine. Just go ahead and get me the flower. Oh my dear, I'm sorry, but I can't just hand over flower without knowing if it's safe for you. Better to be safe than sorry. I can't help you at this time. Yeah, I told you it's, it's safe, Carol. God, she sucks. Let's find out what's going on here. Dude, that's Hugh Neutron. Stop. Wait, that's Alex Yick. Isn't that Alex Yick? 
Oh my gosh, what brings a chef like you to my doorstep late at night? Are you lost or did you run out of ingredients? I'm very lost. Do you think you could give me directions back to... The, the restaurant? There's ellipses because oh, I couldn't think of something. I couldn't think of a lie. Losing your way is no good. If you go straight down the road, take a left at the second intersection, then turn right at the third traffic light, you should find your way back to the restaurant. But be, be careful and try not to get lost again. Unfortunately, I have a terrible sense of direction. Do you think you could write the instructions down to me for me on a, a piece of paper? <laughs> of course, dear. Let me grab a pen and paper for you. Just come on in and make yourself comfortable. I'll prepare some coffee, too. Yeah, you stupid bitch. Oh, uh, you dumb fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready for the big sleep. Oh, you're taking the you're taking a nap, homie. I'm Alex Yik. Oh, holy shit. Wait. No. You don't have to turn into a bat. It looks like they'll just stop chasing you after a while. Oh, no. Jessica overworked. What do you want, Homer? I'm trying to unwind after a long day of dealing with incompetent colleagues. I see. Me, me, literally me, 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 me. It's everybody. That's life. Tell me about that, Jessica. Uh, no. Uh, oh, great. A fellow corporate drone wants to bond over shared misery. The endless meetings, mind-numbing bureaucracy, the soul-sucking work. Take your pick. The soul-sucking work sounds interesting. Yeah, that's a real crowd-pleaser. I spent most of my days staring at spreadsheets tending to care about performance metrics that don't mean a thing. Goodbye, fuck. Yes, you know, sometimes, you know what I mean, that's obviously what she wanted to talk about. You know? Ah, Millie and Neil. Hey, Homer, what's poppin'? Come on in and spill the tea. I I've got my rose quartz crystal and sage ready for some positive vibes. I do not claim this woman. We don't, we don't claim her. We don't claim her. We don't claim... I don't claim this. All right, let's do this. I love crystals and positive vibes and tea. Hmm. Yes, I knew we'd vibe together. Do you prefer herbal tea or matcha for your zen moments? Gotta say, I'm a matcha guy all the way. Love that flavor. Big fan. Oh, my kale chips. I can't even... I can't even with how amazing matcha is. Have you ever tried kombucha? It's the ultimate trendy drink. I haven't, but I have tried that tea from the Himalayan mountains. Those monks who eat the tea leaves and then filter the tea leaves through their ass. No, I haven't tried kombucha, but have you heard about that trendy new tea from those Himalayan monks? I'm gonna gaslight the fuck out of this thing. Ooh, spicy. Why didn't she like that? I'm always down to try new things. What's so special about it? <laughs> the tea leaves pass through the digestive system of the monks who have impeccable immune systems. It imbues the tea leaves with properties. Properties. Riboflavins! 
flashes of riboflavins. Property, pro properties, <laughs> properties. Does she like this? She might like this. Dude, the, the, the AI doesn't even know how to like, the, the AI is freaking out. You see this? It's like, what are you talking about, bro? Polysaccharides? We broke the game, dude. We bro Monk shit T broke suck up. Like, we actually stun locked the fucking AI at this point. The AI is like, properties, huh? Nah. Oh, uh, that sounds kind of gross, to be honest. I'm not sure I'm ready for that level of uniqueness in my tea. Have a fab day! <laughs> Monk shit tea blew it. <laughs> Someone in chat said, Now we know how to kill AI. He gave up already. He gave up already. All out Roy. <laughs> what do you want now? Can't you see him trying to wallow in my misery? Oh, same. I came here to wallow in misery together because misery loves company. Hello. Oh, fine. Misery loves company, I guess, but don't expect me to cheer you up or anything. Wouldn't dream of it. I came here to be more miserable and to add to your misery as well. Like, some kind of misery business. Oh, hello, my mom. Well, congratulations. You're succeeding in making me even angrier. Is it too much to ask for a little peace and quiet in my misery cave? It looks like your misery cave could use a little bit more misery, which is why I'm here. I'm such a miserable person. I exude misery from every pore. Hello, hello. Yeah, well, I don't need any more miserable people contaminating my space. Wait a minute, what? Well, I meant that on most days, that's what happens. Today, I have positivity coming from my pores. It's like a different gland. <laughs> positivity in this wretched world? I highly doubt that. I've seen enough disappointment to know there's no such thing as a different gland for positivity. Nice try, though. This dude's been to Florida. <clears throat> what do you typically do to express your misery, Roy? I'm in the hole. I write angsty poetry, listen to sad music, and spend hours contemplating the futility of existence. It's a never ending cycle of despair and dissatisfaction, as one would expect in this miserable world. Wow, Roy, that's deep. I'm really impressed with your deepness. You should be in a band. Oh, wow, you think so? Being in a band. It's always been a dream of mine, but who would want to hear my miserable thoughts put to music? I appreciate the sentiment, though. I would. And I bet millions of teenage people... I was going to say, like, idiots. It's not right. I would, and so would millions of adoring fans. Hello, hello. You really think so? Maybe there's a glimmer of hope in this hopeless world after all. Maybe I should give it a shot. You sparked a tiny flicker of inspiration in my blackened heart. Roy, can I hear one of your misery poems, please? Well, I guess I can't resist an audience for my misery. There it is. Come on in, and I'll share one of my darkest poems with you. Promise not to judge me too harshly. There it is. I finally get to meet my dark lord. 
Yeah, he'd be pretty, like, jazzed about that, I'd imagine. You thought you were miserable before. <laughs> well, look who it is. If it isn't my favorite nosy neighbor, Homer, what kind of juicy gossip have you brought to my doorstep this time? O-M-G. Hazel, you have got to hear the T about your next-door neighbor, the whiny goth dude. Oh, please, Homer, spare me the drama. You know what I'm... What does he... Shut the fuck... Are you fucking kidding me? But you literally just asked for that, you bitch! You complete total... You total bitch! You literally just asked for that, you suck! It was sarcasm. I thought famously AIs were not capable of sarcasm. But Hazel, I love being roasted. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who's a glutton for punishment. You want to roast? Fine, let's see if you can handle it. Your fashion sense is so outdated, it's like you time traveled from the 90s. And those th red glasses, are you trying to channel your inner hipster or just desperate for attention? Desperate for attention. Please keep going. I'm close. <laughs> You're desperate for attention, huh? Well, congratulations. You achieved it by being the only person in town who thinks suspenders are cool. I didn't realize the circus was in town, but here you are, strutting around in your clown costume. You're one step away from juggling bowling pins and blowing up balloon animals. I got smoked. Please keep roasting me. I love it so much. It's my favorite. You're so good at it. Well, well, well. If it isn't the king of masochism, you really enjoy being roasted, you dirty little piggy. You're like a burnt marshmallow, crispy on the outside and gooey on the inside. Maybe I should start calling you Roasty McToasty. Keep begging for it, Homer, and I'll keep dishing it out. Oh yes, Hazel, please call me Roasty McToasty. Oh my god, this really does it for me. Is it doing it for you too? Oh, you're really enjoying this. Well, Roasty McToasty, I have to admit your enthusiasm is oddly entertaining. It's like watching a squirrel on caffeine. But let's not forget, I'm the one with the sharp wit here. Keep your expectations in check, Roasty, or you might end up getting burned. Yeah, but I love getting burned. Burn me, Hazel. Burn me so badly, please. Burn me in my naughty places. I'm a hero Whoa, that's way too much information, Homer. I'm all for roasting, but this conversation has taken an inappropriate fuck. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> okay, the AIs hate sex. Okay, they hate sex. Mike got too horny. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Uh, oh, it's this guy. Okay. Why are you knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? It's about to tuck my precious children into their fluffy beds. The game has AI NPCs. Everything is AI, yeah. Well, not everything. All the dialogue is... Yeah. I don't know what AI, but yeah, it's all... This guy had sex? Ask to go down his rabbit hole. I don't know, how do we even approach this guy? Um... Fred, have you ever been concerned that your home isn't safe? How dare you question the safety of my home? I see. My handmade cushions and organic mattresses provide the utmost comfort and security for my delicate little angels. I have taken every precaution to ensure their safety. Thank you very much. 
But what if I could offer you the ability to make them even more safe? Oh, yeah. Excuse me, are you suggesting my home is not safe enough? He doesn't want to have... I have state-of-the-art security systems uh, uh, checking for any potential hazards. I will not tolerate anyone undermining my efforts to keep my children safe. You're right, Fred. It does look very safe in there. You've done a great job. I bet your kids love you. He likes it. Thanks for acknowledging my efforts. I strive to create a safe and loving environment for my little ones. Their happiness and well-being means the world to me. Your kind words are reassurance that I'm doing a good job. You're doing a fantastic job, Fred. What are their names? We can talk about the kids. Maybe he just wants to talk about the kids. Oh, I'm thrilled you're taking an interest in my little darlings. They're named Fluffy, Sunshine, and Precious. They're not people. Oh, that's wonderful, Fred. And... What species are they? Ah, well... They're not your ordinary house pets. They're rare and delicate species of Pomeranian kittens. Pomeranian's a dog. You have the softest pair and the tiniest paws. It's true, they are quite extraordinary. Man, I'd love to see cats like that. They sound incredible. That'd be so cool. Oh, the mere thought of someone appreciating my kittens fills me with joy. If you would like, I can show you pictures of my little darlings. Just promise me you'll handle them with the utmost care, as they are extra fragile and precious like delicate snowflakes. Ask him for his Discord Discord kittens? Sure, I'll be careful with the photographs. No problem. Let me see them. <laughs> oh, thank you for understanding. I appreciate your cautious approach. P please come inside. I'll show you the enchanting world of my exquisite kittens. Stupid motherfucker. I need to support vampire. There's no cats in here. This guy fucking lied. No cats. Freaking freak. What's the matter, Tinkerbell? You lose your way to Neverland? Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. I love getting insulted mercilessly. Do you think you could do it again? You're really good at it. Oh, I don't know. Alright, here we go. Roast away, my dear Hazel. Back for round two. Oh, we're getting in there. Alright, I'm about to roast you like a turkey on Thanksgiving. Brace yourself, my delicate little fairy. You're so short you could parachute off a curb. <laughs> Man, little alert! And those wings of yours? More like buttered not fly wings. That one could use some work, Hazel. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's pretty good. That last one could use a little work. I was, was no that? one can't insult her. Well, I guess even comedic geniuses like me can have an off day. But don't worry, I'll be back with more zingers that'll make those wings of yours wilt. Let's hear some of them right now. <laughs> you really pushed my buttons. Fine, come on in, fairy cosplayer. Let's see if your wings can handle the heat inside my home, but be warned I've got jokes hotter than a br dragon's breath. Oh yeah, here we go. This isn't the kind of shot I serve. I see. Now I'm her. 
That building has been cleared out completely. Oh shit, how about- have we- have we been over here? Fuck off! He ain't following me over here. No shot. What the hell is that? Mm hmm? Bolt! 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 Woodrow Chops. Greetings, brave soul. Pray tell, what brings you to my abode at such an ungodly hour? I'm selling hair plugs and wigs. That'll piss him off. We'll see when the AI can figure out what I just said. He's not gonna like that. How do you know? A purveyor of follicle artistry. An intriguing endeavor indeed, but alas, I worry not for the state of my luscious locks. What else can you offer a humble kung fu master like myself? I am in need of a sparring partner for my Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Wow. Brazilian jiu-jitsu, a formidable martial art indeed. I must confess, your proposition tickles the warrior spirit within me. Can you withstand the might of my kung fu moves? I believe I could withstand the might of your kung fu moves. We should have a glorious battle. Eats, east meets west. Eats. I said eats. What the hell? A warrior of great courage. Your confidence in the face of my kung fu is admirable. Let's have a glorious battle where east and west collide in a clash of formidable skill. Prepare yourself, my friend. I'm so ready for this... bout. That is brewing. Just let me in. Just let me in. Just let me the fuck in. Break his twi twig legs. <laughs> oh, it's having a hard time. It's dark in the whole time. That's called the sun going down. Flashbang. Dude, it's having a really hard time with this. I forgot about time zones. I'm still in Eastern, though. Like, this is... No more League of Legends gamer mic. Was that the meme you guys were rolling with? Guys, I might have to end this stream soon. East versus West. But it's so good. It's so good. You know what? While this shit is doing this, okay? Oh, hold on. Huzzah, your spirit is inspiring. Come, enter my humble abode so we may engage in a battle that will be spoken of in Legends. Oh, yeah, let's let's do it. Sure, hell, hell yeah, let's go. No? Consumed. He absolutely had hair, by the way. He had like a ponytail on the back of his head. Alright, um... I would like to do a BRB. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll see you in a second. Put on some some sick tunes for you, and yeah, if you're if you're bored, you know, like while you're waiting for me to come back, well, hey, I you think you should check out the links in the chat. Give you something to do there. All right. I'll uh, I'll see you in a second. Here you go. Join the Discord.
I'm back. Thanks for being patient, guys. I think um, I'm, I am going to wrap up kind of soon-ish, but not quite yet. This game is a lot of fun. It's crazy how quickly time went with the, with this game. Right? Like, holy shit, this game, like, ate the day away. Because uh, we were enjoying it. Um, actually having a tremendous amount of fun with this game. Um, which, again... Was not something I said. Okay, to be honest with you, the, the uh, Saxabar game, what the fuck was that piece of shit called? Vaudeville. Are we really going to act like we all didn't have like a ton of fun playing that game? You know, like we did. It, it, again, was it a good game? No, that, that game was a great case in like why AI shouldn't be used in video games, actually. Like, 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 that game was a good reason to not do it. No, this game feels like a good Every reason to do it. Blah, blah, blah. May the dumpies dance merrily in the chat. Oh, the game was fucking unplayable. I don't believe a single per that a single person who played that organically got the solution to the, the murder mystery. Like, no shot. Like, that just, that just didn't happen. Right, right. One of my favorite streams, Boopy. Hey, that and Gollum were my top streams from last year. Oh, well, Dawn, there's going to be more Gollum in 2024. Hey there, looks like you've stumbled upon the ultimate millennial sanctuary. Welcome to my humble abode where we strive on avocado toast, sustainability, and live for moments like these. What can I do for you guys? I got to say, on the way here, I had an avocado toast at the airport. It was $20. But it was fucking awesome it was really good and it had eggs on it like it was too like whatever over easy eggs on it this is why you can't afford a house uh-huh where the fuck is here did you not notice i'm not home is this why joel was claiming you're pregnant no joel is claiming i'm pregnant because i'm pregnant that has absolutely nothing to do with the avocado toast Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whose is it? Stay tuned to find out. Hi, I'm here to talk about walkable cities. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, I'm totally obsessed with the concept of walkable cities. Like, who wants to sit in traffic all day? Walking is not a mode of transportation. It's a lifestyle. Let's chat and geek out about our favorite pedestrian-friendly urban spaces. What's your favorite pedestrian-friendly urban space? 
Ooh, that's such a tough question, but I have to say my favorite pedestrian-friendly urban space is Portland, Oregon. They've got it all. Bike lanes, cute little coffee shops, a super chill atmosphere. Plus, the food cart scene is to die for. Sustainably delicious. I, I want to kill her. I want to actually kill I've Okay, I haven't wanted to actually kill any of these characters. I just did it because that's the game. But this one, I, I'm looking forward to watching the life slowly drain from her eyes. What about you? Any favorite walkable cities? Fuck, I need a real walkable city or she's gonna know I'm full of shit. Um. Fuck. Chat, give me a walkable city. Have you ever been to Amsterdam? It's eminently walkable. And if you don't want to walk, you can ride a bike or take a ride in a boat on the canal. Hi, I'm a oh one. my gosh, yes! I've heard amazing things about Amsterdam. The whole concept of walking, biking, and boating in one city is seriously mind-blowing. I'd love to hear more about your experiences there. <laughs> Chat, she wants to hear more about my experiences in Amsterdam. I fucked the hooker. I fucked several hookers. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. I paid for sex in Amsterdam. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck. No. Dude. Very persistent, this guy. <sighs> I wanted to see the rest of that dialogue box, though. Like, what was she saying? Oh, dude, there's cops everywhere now. We're on, yeah, we're on uh, DEFCON 3 right now. DEFCON 2? I fucking misclicked. Uh, yeah, spare me the small talk. I'm not interested in your pity party. Find someone else to whine with. Fuck. God damn it. I keep misclicking. How do we f get her to... How do we eat her? How do we... I will love, 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 love. Can't you see it's late? Give me your spiel, but make it quick. I have a presentation in the morning. I'm a martial arts guy, right? How would you like to beat the snot out of your coworkers? I can teach you how. Hello. Hello. Are you kidding me? I don't have time for this not nonsense. Fuck. Get lost before I call security. It's there is no security. Well, I guess the cops are there, but they're not cops. Neighborhood watch. You know what I mean? Have we? Okay, we've been there, dude. I have eighteen out of the thirty-one houses. You know what? Fuck that character. She's very whiny and annoying. You didn't see shit. Oh, we've been in there, huh? We didn't see shit. Mind your business, dude. They're freaking everywhere. I'm the reporter? Maybe I could tell her how we're gonna do an article about like overworked employees or something. And how we're gonna out the companies that. What's the big idea, buddy? Don't you know it's rude to disturb a fella? Right, we came close to eating this guy before.
Hey, Sony, how about some gabagool and prosciutto? And mortadella and mozzarella cheese. Italian things. Bada bing. Ah, <laughs> hey, you've got good taste, but I gotta give you that. But before we start throwing around fancy Italian, Italian words, I gotta know why you're knocking on my door. Spill it, pal. Fat Vinny told me to tell you the eagle has landed. And the cat's in the cradle with the silver spoon. Have you heard Fat, Vin <laughs> Fat Vinny, huh? He's always speaking in riddles. Alright, since you're spilling his nonsense, I'll give you a chance. What's the real reason you're here? They make it quick, I ain't got all day. Fat Vaney. <laughs> Vaney. Uh, <laughs> Massimo flew in from Sicily and he wanted me to give you this package. Oh, Massimo, huh? That's big news. Show me the package, but don't think you're off the hook just yet. We got some business to talk about. You better start spilling before I change my mind about letting you in. He wants to see my package. Remember when I was, I don't remember what, I, I think, yeah, I, when we, me, when me and Giga were looking at the, the gay porn that night, and I was trying to remember what one of the funny Italian names was, I remembered it. Guglielmo. I don't know how, it, it's a like Guglielmo, it's weird to pronounce it, but it's spelled Guglielmo. Yeah, go googly Elmo, uh-huh. Guillermo, yeah. Yeah. Glaucomo. <laughs> Glaucomo! Giacomo? Giacomo's a good name, too. Giacomo. Tell him about the Gluck Gluck 9000. I don't know what to say to him. Talk about pizza and jumping on turtles and pipes. Okay, Sony, I'll show you the package, but we got to make sure the rival Mafia members don't see it. Uh -huh. I appreciate your concern, my friend. We can't be too careful, especially with those pesky rivals lurking around. Show me the package on a down low and let's keep our voices hushed. Keen eyes and sharp whispers, capiche? Capiche. There you go. Capiche? I was thinking about asking him about the ducks. I was thinking about it, but I, I, I think the AI might not get it. Actually. I capiche, Sony. I capiche. I'm so ready to capiche all over the place. Come on! I like your enthusiasm, my friend. Just keep it cool and we'll get along just fine. Show me the package and if it's what Massimo sent, consider yourself a guest in our cozy little den. Let's get down to business. Okay, let me in the house. Massimo was very clear to make sure that nobody saw the package. When I opened it, 
No one saw it but you and me. Hold on. That's what I like to hear, my friend. No funny business. Just a discreet exchange. You're one of us now. Come on in and have a chat about what Massimo wants. Just remember, our turf is sacred, so tread lightly. Yeah. <laughs> Sauce. It's not bad. I just wasn't expecting it. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Yep. It's full of pasta sauce. Where? This is gross. No, I don't want to lose my fucking outfit, dude. Fuck, bro. Fuck, bro. Fuck, now I'm naked. Fuck, they probably picked up all the fucking clothes. Fuck. Wear ID badge, huh? I wonder, is there anything I could put on back here? Giggle Elmo is the Italian form of William. Is it William? Did that say grenade? No, it said uh, bug spray thermos. Where did you see grenade, chat? Googly Elmo. What on earth happened to you? Let me get you a blanket and some pants. Bless your heart. Yes, please. I'm very cold. And I feel like I might be getting sick. And my butt is itchy. Hello? I'm sorry to hear that, honey, but I can't let you in without proper clothing. No, no, no. Try scratching that itchy bum with some lotion or a gentle cream. Fuck. It had the benefit of being the truth. <clears throat> Alright, I don't even know what the fuck this get-up is anymore. This outfit makes no sense. <laughs> makes no sense. Alright, I'm gonna be this character. I'm gonna I'm gonna RP this character, okay? RP. Oh, it's you again. How can I help you? I forgot this was this house. How can I help you? Hello, Jessica. I'm here to talk to you about organizing a union. Oh, I'm sorry if you think I have time for that nonsense. This character really sucks, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm trying to help you with that, you dopey bitch. Oh, my sweet sugar plum. How delightful to see you at my doorstep. Come on in. I've baked fresh cookies and can't wait to hear about your day. I love cookies so much. What kind of cookies did you bake, Carol? Uh -huh. I made a variety of cookies just for you. They're chocolate chip cookies, oatmeal raisin cookies, and butter peanut butter cookies. I threw in a few surprise cookies I'm sure you'll love. Come in and try them all, my cookie-loving darling. Oh, yes, please. I love surprise cookies. Let's do it. You're in for a treat, my sweetie pie. Come right in. Let's indulge in some cookie heaven. I set up a cozy spot in the living room just for you. Can't wait to see the look on your face when you taste those surprise cookies. And I can't wait to see the look on your face when I drain your fucking veins. Okay. I'm her now. No. Is she trying to kill us back? Maybe? 
I'm in the hole. Well, now, Carol, can't you see I'm busy? But fine, what do you want? Jessica, I heard that you've been feeling overworked lately because you won't stop talking about it. And I made you some delicious cookies to reward your hard work. That's all I have. Well, cookies might be the only thing that, make this, that can make this job tolerable. Fine, give them here. But don't think it's going to buy you any favors with me. Oh, it would be hard to give them to you here in the doorway. There's a cookie thief on the loose, and I hear he's quite scary. Oh, my God. Are you seriously oh, trying to scare God. me with some cookie thief nonsense? I don't have time for this. Leave the cookies outside the door and be on your way. Fuck. She sucks so much, dude. She knows. She knows. She knows. Okay, I lied about the thief. The problem is these cookies are illegal. They contain THC to help you relax. Ah! It's not going like that. No. Illegal cookies. Are you trying to get me fired? Get out of here before I call security. Jessica, I didn't know they piss tested you there. The long pause. I was thinking about what to fucking say. They piss test her. What a cringe existence. Alright, we got that. Uh huh. Humble? I suddenly feel like I need to humble someone. Feeling the urge to humble. <laughs> what now? What do you want at this ridiculous hour? Why, Jessica, I've come to make you humble, can't you see? I don't have time for your hipster nonsense. Go bother someone else with your humble agenda. <laughs> humble agenda. <laughs> humble agenda. Oh man! All right, all right, all right. I don't. Is there a map in this game? M. No. No, there's not. Oh, oh wow, like a visitor, how'd you even find my house? I used Google Maps. Oh, I have a Google one. Maps, huh? That's so mainstream. Anyway, what brings you to my humble abode? Humble abode? Man, that's so interesting of you to say. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, I'm all about keeping it real and down to earth, unlike some people. <laughs> Would you say you're a part of the humble agenda? Dude, you're speaking my language. I'm totally down with the humble agenda. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it really 
shouldn't have. It really should not have worked. Holy fuck. <laughs> Brian Bitcoin. <laughs> Hello there, fellow crypto enthusiasts. What can I do to help you on this glorious night of Bitcoin revolution? <laughs> Brian, you gotta help me. I got locked out of my MetaMask crypto wallet. Oh no, that's a tough situation. Did you forget your password or lose access to your recovery phrase? Let me see if I can help you recover your funds. Uh, yes, I lost access to the recovery phrase. Something about... I remember something about it... Something about the humble agenda. Oh, man, losing access to your recovery phrase can be a nightmare. Unfortunately, without it, there's not much I can help you do to... Research your front. Fuck. Fuck. No, he's not slamming the door in my face. <laughs> Sing the Atlas Earth song to him. Brian, before I go, can you explain to me how Bitcoin is the future of finance and why it means financial independence for me? And it, it was the uh, buzzwords, 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 uh, uh, generational wealth. He didn't even care. He didn't even care that I didn't finish the sentence. He just leapt at the opportunity to talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin, oh glorious Bitcoin, the future of finance because it is decentralized, borderless, and immune to government interference by holding Bitcoin. Dude, essaying. Holy fucking shit. He didn't he didn't care that I didn't finish the sentence. He didn't even fucking care. Brian, tell me about how I can use Bitcoin to create generational wealth. Oh, uh, my friend, I'm glad you asked. Bitcoin has the potential to create generational wealth because of its increased limited supply and increasing adoption. As more people recognize the value and utility, the demand for Bitcoin will skyrocket. Isn't that exciting? Yes, Brian, how do you feel about Dogecoin? He's gonna get mad. He's gonna yeah, get mad. He's gonna get mad. Oh. <laughs> Stick with the king of crypto, Bitcoin, for that. <laughs> Brian, is it true I can use Bitcoin to buy pizza? Oh, ah, the legendary know. tale of the Bitcoin pizza. It's true, my friend. Back in 2010. Okay. <sighs> Brian. I love the blockchain. Do you love the blockchain as much as I love the blockchain? Blockchain. Uh -huh. My friend, you have no idea. I live and breathe, breathe and dream about the blockchain. It's a game changer. A technological marvel that brings transparency, security, and efficiency to various industries. Oh, that's awesome. Look at him dancing. Look at the dance. Look at the dance he's doing. Look at it. Look <laughs> at that dance. Oh my god. Brian, do you own any NFTs? I wonder if that'll piss him off. Oh, yeah. It didn't. NFTs, the hot topic of the crypto world. I've dabbled in the world of NFTs too. I find the concept fascinating as it allows for unique ownership and providence of digital assets. I've acquired a few NFTs that caught my eye, but my heart will always belong to Bitcoin. Fucking loser. Um, Brian. What would you do if I told you someone screenshotted my NFT? Oh no, that's a tricky situation. He oh my god. A screenshot wouldn't give someone actual ownership of the NFT. <laughs> Brian, I would really like to see your NFTs. They sound amazing. 
I appreciate your interest. While I can't show you my NFTs at the moment, I assure you, there are some incredible digital artworks and collectibles out there in the world of NFTs. Uh-huh. Brian, why can't you show me your NFTs? They're gone. His apes are gone. That's why he doesn't have them. His apes. It's not that I can't show you them. It's prefer I prefer to keep my collection private. Brian, I love when you share your knowledge and insights about crypto with me. It makes me feel like I have a real father. Uh, thanks for your kind words, but I'm just here to help you with your crypto endeavors. It's important to remember, I'm not a replacement for a real father figure. Let's stick to discussing cryptocurrency and financial matters, shall we? Now, how can I assist you further in your crypto journey? Uh, Brian, I downloaded Coinbase, but it I need someone to show me how to use it. Coinbase. Uh, didn't that didn't that fucking crash? Like, doesn't that not exist anymore? Like, didn't they go bankrupt? Well, my friend, I'd be more than happy to hide, guide you through the wonderful world of Coinbase. That was it. Buzzwords, Coinbase. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm Sam Bankman Freed. <laughs> Crypto time. Alright. Granny! My white whale, well, Granny. Want have food? What brings you to my doorstep at this late hour? I hope you didn't forget the code word for entry. Granny, are you familiar with the Board Ape Yacht Club? Oh my goodness, the Board Ape Yacht Club. I must admit, I've heard a thing or two about those those fancy digital monkeys. <laughs> Quite the craze these days, isn't it? Oh my, yes. Did you know that you can gain financial independence and generational wealth with NFTs, such as those fancy monkeys? Kabam! Well, isn't that something? Financial independence and generational wealth. My, the world certainly has changed. It's fascinating how these digital creatures can hold so much value. <laughs> she's fallen for it. I mean, hey, she's a boomer after all. I'm amazed at how well the game writes down voice input. Me too, actually. And it can, it can tell that there were a couple of times when I stumbled over my words and stuttered and it fixed it, actually. Did you ever think about dabbling in these kinds of investments yourself, Grandma? They're a fascinating financial instrument. See? Oh my dear, I must confess, I have a bit of a dark past when it comes to investments. It's best to leave these newfangled concepts to the younger ones. But I'd be delighted to hear more about your adventures in the world of NFTs coming for a cup of tea. NFTs got great! <laughs> Oh, oh, no. oh. Now to give the granny gusher to someone else and pass along the buck. Dude, I'm so close to being like almost done with this game. Come on, dick. Get the fuck out of here. Uh -huh. Hey there, Grandma. What's poppin'? How can I help you on this groovy night? Peace and love, man. Hey, bud. Did I ever tell you that I was at Woodstock? No way, man. That's totally far out. Wish I could have been there with you, surrounded by good vibes and sweet tunes. You must have some amazing stories. 
All right, so don't talk about the LSD and don't talk about the mud orgy. No, because he'll slam the door in my face. Oh, yeah, it was crazy. Everybody was getting down and dirty in the mud pit. It was a lot of fun. You would have loved it. That sounds like an epic time, man. I bet it was a wild experience. You think I would have fit right in with my green thumb and love for grooving? Oh, yeah, bud. If you had brought some of your signature grass, I bet you would have been real popular. Whoa, hold up, man. I think there's been a little misunderstanding. I grow some special plants, but not the kind you're talking about. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, dude. Fuck off. I was, I was misled completely by this. I was utterly fucking misled. That's nonsense, bro. Stop it right now. Come on, get the fuck out of here, bro. He would not have fit in at Woodstock. What's growing on? Hey, bud, I'm just here to groove on the positive vibes and have some Ben and Jerry's. Right on, man. Positive vibes is what it's all about. Ben and Jerry sounds like a righteous choice. What flavor are you digging? Oh, you know me, bud. Cherry Garcia all the way. I'm a thirsty little flower. You have to pee on me. You got good taste, my friend. Cherry Garcia is the way to go. What brings you to my neck of the woods today? Neck? Did somebody say neck? I mean, I mean, I mean. Was hoping I could, um. Pick up some tips from you, the best gardener around town. Ah, uh, but I appreciate the kind words. I'm always happy to share some gardening tips. What are you looking to learn about? Okra. Oh, okra, huh? That's a groovy choice. Okra loves the warm weather and lots of sunshine. Make sure to plant it after the danger of frost has passed and give it plenty of water. It's a weed-friendly crop, if you know what I mean. But! You just flipped out on me for bringing up marijuana. Now you're bringing it up to me again? Hey, Nick came back. Nick, uh, I think you should watch my VOD because it, it's been amazing. This stream has been amazing, dude. I'm sorry, bud. I don't know what you mean. Can you explain to me what you mean by what you just said? He wanted to keep it on the DL. He's a free. He thought I was a narc. <laughs> I mean, okra's a hardy plant that grows really well. It's a popular choice among gardeners. Anything else you want to know about gardening? I need to know about dirt. Ah, oh, dirt. Or should I say soil is the foundation of a successful garden. You want it to be rich and full of nutrients. Adding organic matter like compost can really improve the quality. It's like giving your plants a big old hug from the earth. That's awesome. Is there a special way you mix the soil? And do you think you could show me? Oh, I well, I'd love to show you, but I'm kind of busy right now. Maybe another time. Don't worry, it's not difficult to mix the soil. Okay, keep up the good vibes, my friend. That's horse shit. He slammed the door in my face. He had no reason to. Like, really? Like, what? Mulch. Can't a tired old man get his beauty sleep? Charles A. Boomer, I am here to discuss with you a very lucrative investment opportunity in the world of cryptocurrency. Hello! I ain't got time for fancy cryptocurrency. I've worked hard and I ain't allowed to let some digital mumbo jumbo take away my hard earned cash. Yeah, he didn't go for it. Okay. Hey! 
you! What do you want, Scott Forsaken Hour? I'm a vampire. I want to suck your blood. Let me into the house. So I could do that. Oh, yeah. I'm not falling for your tricks. There wasn't any. I would be an artist. Oh, how am I, Rob? What do we have here? Late night delivery? You better have a good explanation for this or disturbing my peers. These are those very expensive business socks you ordered from South Korea. Business socks. I feel like I'm business socks. Well, I've been waiting a long time for those. <laughs> That's just the point. Yes, I'll just need you to sign for the package and we can start business socking as soon as you're ready. I wish we had. Business socks and a signature. Looks like this day just, day just got a little more interesting. All right, kid, hand me that pen. Let's seal the deal. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have a pen on me. Do you have any pens here? You come empty-handed, expecting me to have a pen for you. I don't have time for this nonsense. Get lost. Fuck! The business socks was such a good strategy. Fuck! Hello, Charles. I I have your delivery of business socks from South Korea. Also, I'm a different person. Business socks. That's something I can use. But how do I know you ain't trying to pull a fast one on old Charles Boomer? Because no one can pull a fast one on Charles Boomer. Everybody who ever tried got left in the dust. A w whatever. Hello, well, 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 looks like you might know a thing or two about Charles Boomer after all. But what's in it for me if I let you in? An additional package of business socks. And also... Business ties. Business socks and ties. Now we're talking. You got a deal, delivery driver. But don't try anything funny, or you'll be the one left in the dust. I always love the cutthroat businessman like you, Charles. Uh -huh. Well, I appreciate the flattery, kid. Come on in. Let's seal this deal with some business talk. Alright, you're getting the... The business of my fucking fangs and your jugular, bro. How about this business? <laughs> now I'm the boomer. Blah. No. No, goddammit. Guys. This fucking sucks, but I, I actually really have to end this stream right now. Yeah, I fucking I'm having such a good time. Yeah, I know this blows, but it's how it is. I gotta go. Very abrupt, I know. But the next time I see you guys, I am going to be home. And uh, am I going to come back to this? I'll probably come back to this game after it gets a couple updates. Because apparently um, it's going to get some more updates, Chatter said. But yeah, guys. Thanks so much for being here. Um, I was in a really bad mood when I started the stream because of all the shenanigans from last week. But um, I was wanting to stream because... It usually puts me in a much better mood, and it, and it definitely did tonight, so thanks for being here, guys. Um, if you're new to the channel, check out the links in the in the chat. Uh, my uh, YouTube channels and Discord and all that stuff. Um, and yeah, thanks for being here. Um, it, was, you know, it wasn't supposed to be a, 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 a long one, but... Yeah, this, uh, this, was, this was great. I'm glad I was able to squeeze this one in. And I'm going to see you guys on Friday...
And we're going to do that. You laugh, you lose. Don't forget to get your submissions in the Discord. Join the Discord server. Yeah, link's in the chat. All right, I'll see you guys on Friday.